Uh, Blanche <laughs> just talked filth. Blanche, yeah. she had that southern twang, and she was ready to eat a dick. Yeah. <laughs> Blanche was ready to roll, dude. Uh, yeah. She was still catching deep. I think she fucked a priest on the last episode I seen, dude. <laughs> Ooh, she called out the Soprano. Dude, they're, they're running a lot of Golden Girls right now. I've been watching them. Yeah, they've, they've been catching me up. Uh, they've been catching me off guard. I'm like, yeah, let's watch three Golden Girls right now. What the yeah. fuck's going on? Blanche will take you from Jesus. But, but yeah, Blanche was always walking around in like that, that, that was like satin, like nightgowns or whatever they are. But listen, like, if you've been fucking <laughs> for little, 70 like, years, outfits. you got to be good at it by now, right? No, she's good. I, I, I mean. say Betty White was better looking than Blanche. But yes. Blanche, Blanche is, would have gave it Blanche up Blanche's persona ooze sex she, appeal. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Blanche. Blanche. I can't believe I just heard that. Blanche. <laughs> yeah. True. Blanche knows how to get you going. Yeah. Blanche knows how to take care of you. Real flirty. <laughs> Real flirty. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Greenfield Smash Podcast. I'm your host, Michael Z. Bird Zidell. Real quick before we jump into the show, could you please hit that like button and subscribe? And if you wouldn't mind, could you please leave a comment, a thumbs up, let, you, let us know if you liked it, if you got any questions, anything like that. On to the show. The boys are in the building. Dr. Scholes. Hello. Medium sized cock risotto. What's up? And my main man, Moneyline Welsh. What's going on? I'll tell you what's going on. This is two years of doing the podcast. This is our two year anniversary. Today. That's a lot. What is that? 730 days? Is that right? No. 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 <laughs> Your math is. T- would you go that's to Alderdice? That's like, uh, what, 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 it's over, a little bit over yeah. 100. It's like 104 weeks. No, it actually is. 140. Yeah, yeah. Is oh, yeah I'm right, you fucking yeah. idiots. You did go to Alderdice. You're just talking about yeah. the Tuesdays. No, no. Yeah, you want. Hey, hey, he just did the math on his phone. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I did that in my head. I'm good at counting. I've bartended for 100 years. Don't ask me to do an algebra problem, but I can fucking count. <laughs> I thought you were just talking about the Tuesdays. No, that'd be 104 it's the same Tuesdays. Amount of, yeah, 104, yeah. Yeah. That would have been 30 years of podcasting. We did 700 Tuesdays. God. <laughs> I mean, like, dude, if we're doing 30 years, I mean, I better, doing, I better get something If we're doing money. 30 years of podcasting for no money, that's going to suck. <laughs> but if we're doing this in 30 years and we're making money, that's great. Yeah, fucking God bless. But, uh... Yeah, two years, man. That's a long time. A lot of drives on a Tuesday night when you're in home, when you're at home. I almost blew cool. that left again tonight. It was, yeah, it's I had dark to, out there. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, John, you got this. I was in the middle of a story. So like, ah. I almost blew past it too. It, you can't see a fucking thing out here. Nah. These idiots still got their Christmas lights up everywhere though. What That's the, the only thing that lights on? the streets though. <laughs> they, how long these Christmas lights stay up out here? It's one. <laughs> it's one thing to have them up still, but like to still like plug them bitches in. You still have them on. It's over. You go to New Year's. It's over after New Year's. Or mine are up. Uh, yeah, They're not the, on. Yeah, correct. <laughs> yeah, you, I mean, you get. You want to get them down sooner than later, though. You get into February now. I've been it's waiting freezing. for a nice warm day. You my, know what I mean? My mom left. Tomorrow them up might to, be today. She'd leave them up till July, and then um. Then she'd take them down in July. I'm like, people already think we're scumbags. Just leave but them Yeah, we're, we're almost home. Like, just run with it. We're almost home again. <laughs> yeah, the one time we had them up to Easter, I'm like, Dad, just don't plug them in anymore. You can leave them up until next year. It'll be fine. Fuck it. Nope. Uh, New Year's, how was it? Anybody do anything crazy? No. no. Oh, Not at all, sir. Dude, me either. I, I didn't was even getting, like, I didn't even get text messages from people. Like, <laughs> no. hey, anything going on tonight? Like, people were just like, fuck it. Just folded. I don't know what people did, like friend wise. I don't know if anybody went anywhere. Nobody did. I didn't anything. hear a fucking peep from anybody. Dude, I went to Mishka's house and had a big fat Russian New Year. Did you see? <laughs> it? Oh, so you went to Mishka's? Yeah, so I went to Mishka's. Something. Yeah, I did yeah. something. I wasn't crazy. I mean, like. Yeah, did you bring those kids with you? I sure did. <laughs> Slept over and everything. I've seen pictures. I've seen yeah, pictures. Seen, man. Yeah, Mishka sent a picture. What's it? Did you, Case see, all of the, did you see all those apples? <laughs> That's a lot of apples. Dude. It was three cases. Three boxes of apples. Yeah. And I asked him, I was like, what's the game plan with all these apples? And he said, I eat four a day. 
<laughs> he eats the core and everything. I know. Uh, seeds, yeah. core, yeah. the stem, Dude, everything. I mean, I, eat, I, I thought I ate a fair amount of apples. I usually, I get about one or two in. I probably eat five to six apples a week, which I thought is that's a lot of fucking apples. Well, see, in Russia, you don't have to wait in line for apples. You just have to pick them off a tree. <laughs> you know? So, yeah, it's just... <laughs> So that's the only so that's thing why he he buy, I don't even know where you buy a box of apples that he has. He got to go to Restaurant Depot or something. Bro, yeah, I, yeah. No, I'm there all the time. They don't have those. They don't have case of apples. No, I don't. No, he I don't goes know where. Straight to the orchard. Yeah, yeah. He, he got, got to the, the orchard. Up, right, does. <laughs> I pick myself. Yeah. But yeah, no, I didn't fucking do anything, man. It was I just chilled, smoked weed, ate an edible, fucking went to pasta two mm-hmm. to pasta pick, two's decent. pick up food. Should have just ate there because pasta two the. It was an hour and a half wait to get food, and I knew it was going to be that. So they told me an hour. Mm. Ended up waiting probably the better part of an hour and forty minutes. People were not happy in the fucking <laughs> wait. Well, there was probably like there was probably like fifteen people in the restaurant eating. There was probably thirty people outside <laughs> waiting for to go food. And dude was like, I wasn't expecting this. I don't know what to tell everybody. You know what I mean? And I was like, I get it. You well, know what I mean? Like, about it. Yeah, like people like it was, it was. It was definitely a weird New Year. Like fucking everybody knew somebody that had fucking had Corona. Yeah. So like people were kind of laying low, or like I just wasn't. I'm not. I wasn't going out to get all fucked up. So, just was what it was. Just fucking. I made it till midnight last year. I didn't make it till midnight. No, well, so I made. I made it till midnight. Yeah, and it was just like me and Lee didn't even get off the couch to like smooch each other. We just gave each other. Like, I just, like, Did you? Yeah. That's, I was like, Hello, that's you have a fist bump. Yeah. Hello, hey, over there. <laughs> I, Addy does this thing where we hold quarters. What's that mean? It's supposed to be good luck for the next year that you have money. Uh, okay. So, yeah. like, at midnight, you just we, hold quarters? Hold quarters. That's, that's why you won the fantasy football, <laughs> yeah. dude. That's why you're killing it the last three <laughs> weeks. He's been on fire. Yep. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what did, I mean, I, I missed last week. Fucking. So, what did you? What was Christmas like? I'm sure you guys covered Christmas last week. Yeah. I didn't listen to the episode. I'm gonna be honest. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Well, thank. <laughs> we could have used that listen too. You <laughs> piece of yeah, shit. you should have just at least put it on. I your think phone. I, I think I went on the YouTube and I, you know, I mean, I, we got the, I counted the view, but yeah. I didn't. I didn't really listen. If I'm not in it, I'm not interested. Even uh, when I'm in it, <laughs> <laughs> that's all you did. Oh, uh, Christmas was great. <laughs> 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 but I uh, open presents. They don't yeah, care about. Yeah, them. right. Yeah, 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 ton of garbage. It's awesome. Yeah. Dude. You have kids. Oh, uh, dude, fantastic. I fucking forgot. Like the, the fucking Westview man, they like sent out this email saying that Garbage Day was going to be affected, or the headline is like made it appear it was going to be that way. It was an email saying that garbage wasn't going to be affected, so I didn't put it out. I missed it. You should see my – I just put it out now. It is insane. Rose is trying to tell me. I'm it's a, just like they're going to miss it. I'm going to tell you guys the most insane thing I've seen over this holiday season. So I'm scrolling through Facebook. Old Joe Welsh puts up a family picture. All the Welshes in their matching pajamas. This is this, this has is, been a highly – This is So this, they look – I'm like, you know what? They pulled it. There was probably, what, 15 of us? 15 of them, but 14 of them – I had the same pajamas. I'm like, oh, look, they pulled it off. And before I could get to one person, didn't go with it. It didn't go unnoticed. And it didn't go on. I put up a comment right away, like, who's the rebel not wearing the pajamas? And it was Joey's wife's mom. She, you know, she was like, yeah, she, she didn't. didn't have, she is. She's in a boot. I mean, come on. Who does I mean, she, she have the she shirt? is. No. It was, she, she did <laughs> have. I think she may have had the shirt on. I'm not 100% sure. There was a jean jacket over that. Uh, me, I'm, you know, I'm I, I don't want to run. Around, I don't want to run around in a matching PJs, John. You know what right. I mean? But like, I'm, there's there's a bunch of nieces and nephews now. There's kids around. Right. I'll be a team player. I got up at fucking eight in the morning and drove over to my brother's house, fucking from North Hills to Lincoln Place. You sure and, did with Crocs on and matching PJs. <laughs> took the picture. You know what I mean? You gotta be a team player, and it didn't go on the list. And, it, I, listen, there was some text messages. Yeah. <laughs> People noticed. I mean, if you see everybody, if everybody's in there dressed, ready to go, ready to celebrate Christmas, one person isn't. I get it. There's a boot situation, so I'll give her a pass. But, I mean, next year. Are you uh, ready to, like, ask her to leave the picture? I like, think that's what they should have did. Leave the photo? Or photo no, shot. pretty no. wrong. Christmas, yeah, that's yeah. ruthless. But, I mean. Yeah. My dad has them on. You know what I mean? Like he don't want to. Seen that? He I don't want to wear those that. fucking PJs. No one does. You looked happy in them, though. I mean, yeah. not, they have footies. I, in I don't. Them? I don't remember the last time I was happy. Surely, I don't know. Like, <laughs> happy. Have it's you been like, listening to this guy? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if happy's the word. It was okay. I rather not would have had them on. But yeah, I wouldn't say happy. But I did it. And I'm, I don't know. I'm a team player. Whatever. What are you gonna do? But yeah, that was that was pretty much. The, I, I wish I could really get into Christmas. I can't. 
but it, <laughs> there's there there were some there's some gems out there. You had a good Christmas though, Jack. Yeah, it was fine. It was good. It good. actually was good. I didn't. I mean, I had to run around. I haven't had to run around in a long time. Fucking, I didn't. How many a, places? I was just gonna ask you that. I think I did. I did three, so it wasn't insane. Wait, so you and Lena are pretty serious now. Do you go to like both like sides? So we got her parents are are divorced. So her mom was out. Three, of, her mom was out of town. So that's like one that, thumbs so up. that yeah that 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 saved us there. So we did her dad's, my brother's, my aunt's. Hell, it's mm. yeah. It's just like what the is that the over two days? That's over two days, that's which isn't bad. that bad. Two bit two days. I've done out three okay. in a day. That's oh, the worst thing you could do. You're, we we were fun nowhere. We were supposed to, like my my cousin was having something like after Lenny's dad, so it would have been my brother's, Lenny's dad's. Back to my cousins, and I was like, "Dude, we're, we're done. This is over. Like, yeah. we see them yesterday. Good we're gonna see, we're gonna see them the next day. Like, th- this is this is it. That's the worst thing about like any holidays trying to divide it up between families. Yeah, I'm just. And my brother got this hosting thing in a ch- in a chokehold. You know, what I mean, he got the big crib right now, <laughs> but like, and he does. He's it's, playing it's that a hand. Good, it, yeah, and it's a good hosting crib. I will give him that. But like, I don't. Do you do you think you're better off hosting than running around? Well, you don't have to leave. I mean, that's the right. glory that's, of it. And then they, you, you, they, you don't have to leave, but, but people, people do leave. have to leave. But they yeah. don't. So that's, that's, what I, that's, what I, that's my point. <laughs> but I would say if it's like with you guys, he probably don't care who's staying long. You know, no, he, he cares. Oh, like, yeah, he cares. Does he? Oh, no, listen. He, he, he don't, don't care. Don't, he, I don't, what he, kind of hint does he give you? He, I, I'm does he never, try to like clean it up shit around you? I'm never there long enough to get the hint. Yeah, I mean? Yeah, but if he doesn't care, his wife does. I promise you. He don't care if I'm staying. Right. But like, it's a long day. If there's 12 people. There, Depends like, who, who's the there, around. whose kids are there, who's running around like a lunatic. I mean, that'd be the top part. Like, all right, if you got some lingers, I hate a linger. Like, get, get out. All right, the party's over. Because there's no, there's no, like, it's not like, hey, we're having Christmas from like 6 to 10 p.m. Everybody right. beat it at 10. You yeah. know what I mean? So that's where it gets a little dicey. You get some lingerers lingering. Addy, Addy had Thanksgiving before COVID at our house for two years. And I'll tell you what, the years before that, we went to her family's. I liked it a hundred times better being at, at our house than I did like going anywhere else. Why? Be, because I didn't have to go nowhere. I'd help her prepare a little bit. She basically took care of everything, but we didn't have to run. I could like sit there, and if it's your house, you can control the TV. Yeah. No one tries to fuck around and take off. Oh, we don't want to watch football. Well, you know, you should have thought about that before. Yeah, you should have your own house. <laughs> but the, but the, uh, the only <laughs> thing good about being in someone else's house is you can fucking leave whenever you want, and yeah. you go home to it a quiet and fucking house, there. and there's no one there. Like, when you're, like, sick of everybody and they're all stuck at your house, you're like... Plus, the mess is... I mean, you sh- can help the host clean it up, yeah. but some people are like, ah, I've got to go, see you, and then... Kids are crying, bye. Yeah, kids yeah. are crying, and the, you got to clean it up. Addie will run the vacuum right over your feet like it's time to go. <laughs> yeah, she, don't she don't turns the light out, lights down like, like a... Like a like I'm just going to go lay to, you know, go to lay down. I remember a couple of times. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The, yeah. The, only, <laughs> the only thing about, like, hosting, I don't, I don't think I would mind after people were there, but, like, just the, my childhood... The, my mom always did Christmas Eve, and it was always a big one. the The leading up to people getting there was insane. Arguing the, the fights that like took place were just <laughs> fucking unbelievable. Everybody's Which, pissed. My dad, Everybody's my dad hates my mom. My mom hates my dad. <laughs> I hate everybody. Everybody, everybody hates me. It's just my dad's Christmas shopping on Christmas Eve, <laughs> and then you like, hear fuck, ding dong, and it's like and you're then, like the fucking my, happiest family. And my mom's like, oh. Oh, yeah. liar! Welcome. Yeah, <laughs> liar. Not t- <laughs> so. Like I'm thinking of like with Lenny, like I would have to like fake do stuff the whole time. You know what I mean? Because I'm not, I'm not really gonna help. You right. Know right. What I mean? But I would always be like picking up a shoe rack. Like, hey, I'm, a, I'm gonna hang this picture today. Like, what the fuck? I did, like, the can I leave on. and come back when this is like set up? Because now I just feel awkward here. I'm You're doing all this work, picture. and I don't know what to do. Put the I don't pre- know what to do with my hands. Put the pre. My thing would be, I always take like the pre-sliced cheese out. Like the, the cheese that's already cut, and like put it on the thing. Assort it. <laughs> yeah, I'd be like, oh, yeah. that takes yeah, seven make minutes. It fancy, you know. No, I didn't. I mean, I'm talking about this shit was cut already to like, you know what I mean, cracker size. So I'd like take it out. Of the he was package. like cheese pepperoni, <laughs> cheese pepperoni, <laughs> cheese pepperoni. <laughs> yeah, that was my thing. You gotta yeah. go buy the stuff. I mean, you, you know, that's, yeah. that's where I come in. Like, I'll go to the store. I'll Who needs ice? I'm a, I'm a yeah. good store guy. Yeah, yeah. I'll make a run. Then I went to Pennsylvania. At that point, you're just you're ba- That's crazy. It was the fucking. Oh man, it's a wild, wild west on. You know what? The only good thing was like you got all. These idiots are like, uh, can I taste that salami right there? Mm-hmm. You know, and uh, the, the guy's like, okay, whatever. And I go there, I'm like, dude, I need a fucking half pound of mortadella, half pound of fucking salami, half pound. And they're like, Merry Christmas to you. Yeah. And they hate the Karens that are there that don't know what they want. Yeah, brutal. Uh, so yeah, I mean, that was that was Christmas. Uh, anybody do any New Year's resolutions? 
No. Mm, nothing, huh? I didn't even think about it this year. No, I don't dude. think I can improve myself anymore. <laughs> yeah, right. What, am I lying to myself again? <laughs> it is like a big lie. It's, yeah, it really Especially is. when, like, the first of the year was, like, the rainiest day ever. I'm like, miserable yeah. day. And, and, but, and you had, like, the weekend, so it really didn't start until yesterday. Right. I, I was a piece of shit until Monday. Yeah. Like, a huge piece of shit. Like, the number of pumpkin rolls and cookies I put down in the past 15 days is, is alarming. <laughs> to say the least. But now, like, I'm day two. And eating vegetables back out healthy. back yeah. on it yeah trying to get the, trying to get the cholesterol back down fucking to a normal <laughs> level here uh i just want a fat ass in two, 2022 dude i'm sick of having a little butt a you butt. want a big fat uh, baby? i want a, i want a fucking wagon behind me <laughs> stick with the pumpkin rolls yeah but it, i like so, so the like cream cheese will my be ass don't grow that way like it, i grow i feel like if you i get f- like if i get fatter my butt gets littler and my fucking my belly gets bigger you're top which heavy is, which is no good it's yeah, no, you're top not a heavy. good look naked <laughs> So, <laughs> so you want a root? You want to get some? I, uh, yeah, because I always get teased. Brazilian butt lift. I always get teased. Yeah, I'll maybe with BBL, but I always get teased for having a small butt. You guys don't tease me, but other get, our friends do. They tease <laughs> me about having a small butt, and I always had a small Irish butt. <laughs> so now it's going to be wagon season over here. You so start you doing me? some squats, uh, dude. I, what do you mean start? Ben, Ben, ben dude, <laughs> day two. hasn't helped, dude. D- oh, day two, two days, yeah, oh, two on, days man. of squats, pretty sore. I'm be honest, but hey, here we are. We're in a fucking. Uh, if I'm just going to have a wagon. You're going to see me walking around on Lululemons all over the place. I'm not even going to be able to golf with you. I won't be able to take my eyes off your bum. You don't have to. <laughs> you don't have to. Have a good time. Man. This is for you. I just fucking like pulled my driver out of my bag and like swing it into my fucking living room. Like It's only January 1st. we got a long way to go here. Golf's the only thing I look forward to at this point in life. And yeah, it's, it's just gone. Cannot. I'm not even a golfer. I swung my club in the basement the other day. One of my kids like crept Feels... up behind me. I almost took her freaking head. Oh, that's off, how they learn a lesson. <laughs> I'm like, I'll never oh do that my again. God. Don't, be, don't become bad. And then they me out. Yeah. the club. <laughs> yeah, I was like just in my zone, like. Dude, my kids like, always want to take it off me, then use it, then they scrape it all over the ground and hit something they're not supposed to. Then I get break mad. the TV. <laughs> <laughs> Lessons <laughs> over. Yeah, that, yeah, that's terrible. Ah, uh, dude, I did watch like the network shows on New Year's Eve. They yeah. were fucking insane. Those are that. That's. I think that's what I'm going to do the rest of my life, just bounce back and forth with network te- television on New Year's because it is – it's out of control, dude. What, Not, like the host, how they, like all the get, host, they all get lit? Andy Cohen gets so fucked up, he's hilarious. He gets blackout drunk every year, and you know it's not an act because every one of us knows what a blacked out eyes look like, and he has them every year. He got yeah. those crazy eyes going. No and he's, soul. he's screaming into the <laughs> fucking camera. Anderson Cooper's trying to fucking reel him in, but Anderson's a little fucked up because Andy's been peer pressuring him to fucking drink. So Anderson's eating fucking fruit on the fu- or kid fruit on the fucking side, and trying to reel in. Andy's going off by Mayor De Blasio, fucking threatening. Yeah, dude, yeah, I was, yeah, he was threatening Mark Zuckerberg for controlling our lives, dude. It was fucking, <laughs> dude. I was like, what the fuck? I'm all high eating edibles, and like. No, I didn't, I didn't see it. And I'm that. like, dude, I'm like, I'm like, I look at Lane. He's like, dude, is Andy Cohen losing his shit again? Like, you thought he was like, because last year he lost his shit. You thought he was like, hey, maybe I'm going to reel it in a little bit. Who had him back? <laughs> I think, I mean, he look, I think it's ratings. That's you know what I mean? But, I, yeah. but I, I know it's not staged because you could fucking see how fucked up he is. He's he's generally fucking shit faced on national TV with millions. Of, good for him. It's fucking yeah. awesome. Yeah. He's drinking, he's partying. Yeah, they're doing shots of tequila. They, maybe they know that's what the people want. Yeah, it is. It's awesome. You got th- way but more that's number. a dangerous game to play. Yeah, I yeah. Mean, that is. He I, says it, something wrong, and then it's over for. But him. you know what? You know, bad pub, uh, pub- publicity is. You no, know. there's no publicity. Yeah. All right, no, yeah. bad, no publicity. bad publicity. You got it. You guys. He says it. something crazy. They're like, we got to tune in to see what this crazy bastard's gonna say. It, it, there's a fine line of crazy. The good thing about him is he's gay and he can get away with anything. That's yeah, yeah. He's, a, he's a lovable guy. I, I love Andy Cohn, but I mean, he, like, is, is a gay Andy man. Andy Cohn got the four one. <laughs> That's my shit. Ah, uh, and then Miley Lee Cyrus, fucking, is that her name? Miley Did you say Cyrus. Miley, Miley Lee? Yeah, is there a Lee in there? No, no. I think it's just Miley. Miley. Lee. Miley. Miley. Lee. What did I say? Miley Lee. Yes. Miley. That Lee. was country as fuck. Miley <laughs> Lee Cyrus. Jeez. Ah. Uh, her top fell off. I was watching that, dude. I'm telling you, live. I, I live. I caught everything. Like she was like, it was she. She played it off pretty good. She was like, she started her song and she was like, oh okay, and like you could just see like the snap of her fucking shirt break, and she like covered her titties, like turned around and started like walking. It was, it was hot. Start walking back and then came out in this fucking like and like she was still like singing backstage. <laughs> and it was like it was a live. It was like right after midnight or right before, and she came out in this blazer and fucking her and some dude I never seen before start singing a song together, but uh. That was pretty fucking cool. Kim Kardashian unfollowed 
Miley Cyrus on Instagram today. But you know why? Because her and Pete, Pete Davidson, Davidson were yeah. canoodling on New Year's. Yep. Little New Year's canoodling. Pete Davidson's a fucking slayer, dude. dude I gotta he, give it to him. It's crazy. He's the man right now. Dude. I mean, if you got Kim K freaking out because you fucking, like, who... He definitely tagged Miley Cyrus he's swing, that night. Because yeah. he's swinging that big old but dick that, around. That, that's, <laughs> not, that's not their first interaction. No, they he, were on he Conan cracked, together. He, yeah, he cracked that years ago. Well, no, recently they were on Conan together. Oh, okay. And, and they were, like, reported hanging out. I think he has. I mean, there's just people just following that motherfucker now to see what pussy he gets. You know what I mean? And so a I lot think of that's it. Why yeah, chicks, he's keeping up. And I think that's why chicks like him. because One of the reasons, because they know they're going to get some publicity. They know that, and like, dude, when girls see you with, when girls other that, girls. yeah, other hot girls, like, he well, what's going on? Here? I want what Kim had, yeah, yeah, yeah. right. Like, if that's good enough for Kim Kardashian. Yeah. That's good enough for me. But I would, I mean, me personally, I would definitely, I would take Kim over Miley Cyrus. But, but it all started yes. with when he banged. What was it, Ariana Grande? Yeah, was like, he has a that. huge dick. Yeah, it was like yeah. Kate, but I'm saying like that's Kate when it started. Yeah. And then but, he's just been smashing yeah, us. Ariana Grande, he owes her. An infinite amount of money. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. she just came out and made that song about him having a hammer, and it's just been fucking pussy. That's what it started, then. dude, and he's been just slaying them. Swimming it's in It's been puss. raining cunts on that guy. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, he's it's on a raining cunts. He's on a cooze cruise <laughs> called Life. Yeah, I mean, it's going to get old soon. I hope so not for him. Banging yeah, Cohen. <laughs> yeah. I mean, what else you, What else is left to do? Yeah. Yeah, you fucked everybody. Yeah. It's fucked. I mean, good for him. He's an ugly motherfucker, Ugly too. motherfucker, but Looks God like bless him. They put a, Peter, a, a picture of him and Beetlejuice next to each other. Yeah. They look exactly alike. Oh, yeah. His gums They're might like, be bigger than Beetlejuice's. Really, if Beetlejuice was 2022, it's this motherfucker. <laughs> and he was just sitting there looking like a skeleton. I'm like, what is good for him? I'm not hating on him. It, no, it God just, bless him. Fuck. That's a lot. I don't even think Miley Cyrus is really anything to write home about, but I mean that's that, if if you take that down, if the option's available, I mean, oh you, yeah, you yeah. fuck any rock star you can at any point in time in your life. Yeah, you don't you don't turn that down. You don't turn down. Who, you don't turn who down, do you think you are? You don't turn turn down rock rock star coups. Yeah. Uh, and then two idiots uh, get engaged. This this that might have been staged. Worse. Two people get engaged on the other channel. The fucking Dick Clark's fucking Seacrest Ryan one. Seacrest one. Two people get engaged, and then they start, they have masks on, and then they start kissing with the masks on. No. Like, but he pulled the mask, I watched the whole thing. He was, pulled the mask yeah. on to propose. She said, shook her head yes. He put the mask back up, and then they locked masked lips and made out with mask on. What are we doing here? And, like, the I chick didn't even know what to say. Like, That's she, like, she kind of went, this is beautiful. I'm like, this, I'm like, hey, this is the dumbest fucking thing I've ever seen. Like, this is... The definition of that movie, don't look up. It, that was it right there. Yeah, it's uh, how stupid society What are you is. doing, pulling out with a condom on? Yeah. <laughs> right. Dude, I was at Trader Joe's today. There was probably 100 people in there. Me and one other girl were the only two people without a mask on. Without? Without. Did you wrap it like you were a champion? I, like, <laughs> I, I, I felt like it's been getting worse. I go there a decent amount. It, it, the mask policy is being like workers weren't some workers wear them some weren't and like there was always like five or six people in there today i was walking around i'm like fuck i'm the only dick bag in here without a mask but then i saw her and we like gave each other like a head <laughs> nod but dude i'm vaxxed up i'm not i'm not right. playing this fucking game anymore no. if you make me do it i'll do it whatever what else am i gonna do but if i have the option not to strap that thing to my fucking muck i'm not strapped it to my muck no, you're vax. You, got hey, you know what? It's been too, working right? so well lately, so, I mean, why <laughs> yeah. not do it? But, it, it uh, yeah. It was... Dude, the people that still freak me out are people to wear a mask in the corner by themselves. I'll never understand that I one. just don't. I don't understand So it. uncomfortable. I think you're I breathing told... your own air. In. Like, what, what are you doing? I, I think yeah, I told you not... guys this before. I was in Squirrel Hill the one day, and I walked past. It was like a blue Honda Accord, and they had masks on the the, the vents. Like, you know, you blow your heat, and they had masks taped on all the vents. Like, that makes what sense. the fuck is that doing? I get you? that. That makes sense. Yeah, it's, it's, <laughs> yeah, huge. He's brainiac. They're not. They're gonna be fine in society. <laughs> yeah, right. You'll be fine outside. Ah, Ben's final ride. Jeez. What a night! Everybody. It was hard not that. to open with this, but like we had to get through the fucking New Year's Christmas shit. Ah, uh, man, that was sad. Yeah. It was rowdy. It was rowdy. I wasn't there. I, I was down there. It, it was, was rowdy. People like made sure they got in the stadium because they wanted. That's to see what I was. Wor- that's what I was worried about. Because yeah. like I seen this, I seen a view 
like I'm telling you, it could have been earlier. I thought they were gonna have a flyover because like there was like some like it sounded sure. like the helicopters were coming, but then they never came. So yeah. it could have been something else. Maybe People like, got yeah. in there. It was fucking rowdy, dude. Man. My, my brother-in-law came in from Texas at like three thirty or some shit. Went straight to the fucking stadium with him and his daughters, and just you know, he was like, "This is the best day of my life. This is great." And, it, and he said that there was like. Thousands of people there, and it was like five hours to the game. You know what I mean? It yeah, was I so crazy. Time time tailgates were cracking, dude. I got down there a little bit late. I went to a tailgate, dude. Traffic was heavier than usual. Like I got to a tailgate, and like, I was only there a half hour because like we wanted to get in to see him. So like we probably try to start to get in about seven thirty, like to go well, yeah. like, go through yeah. that huddle of line to like get yeah. checked and everything. I, I drove through. Around like four thirty, and there was definitely more tailgates than usual. Like fucking, it, it, people were ready to roll. Even the dudes that were like uh, broadcasting it were like, "We've done a million, you know, Monday night games. Well, not a million, but we've done a lot of Monday night games at Pittsburgh, and there, we've never seen this city cracking like it is right I now." I mean, that was the big, in, in it, our life. It's probably the biggest home game. You know, yeah, I mean, yeah, besides AFC the playoffs, championship, AFC playoff, championship right. yeah, the, the Quato game. I mean, that, that's kind of what I like watching on TV. It, it kind of felt like the Quato game a little. bit. I, I don't think it could touch the Quato game. No, that was a different. But I mean, I, as far as like, like people were like just a, it was like a, saying goodbye to like yeah, it was friend. like a big yeah. thank yeah. you, like thank you. you know? But dude, the, he threw the ball fucking five hundred times for one hundred twenty three <laughs> yeah, yards. He had thirty six passes at halftime. Like what dude. He, dude. It, it, for like ninety four yards. Yeah, God, yeah, like, yeah, how, yeah. how is that even a dude? Stat? I looked at dude. There was like a Browns fan. There was. Like a decent amount of Browns fans, I thought I was like, we both stink. Both these teams stink. Yeah, like, dude, this is like, hard. This is, it's just hard to watch. I'm not even saying it's Ben's fault, but like, dude, nah. like, this like what? after the emotions, yeah, then you're like, something needs to change with this team. Like, so, so the dude that was in the booth, Riddick or whatever, yeah, he was giving people the business. But dude, no, he was yeah. killing him for not running Nick Chubb. He definitely had he had Nick Chubb in his fantasy then, championship. Yeah. Or some shit. At one point, they were like uh, uh, throwing, like showing highlights of Big Ben, like when back in the day when he had like dudes hanging on him, he's throwing forty yard passes with no step in. Who's that it. Suggs? When he, he was had like Suggs hanging on him. He was like, yeah. man, I used to fucking hate when he did. Well, he didn't say fuck. But he said I used to hate when Big Ben did that to us because he played for the Browns. He's like, I've seen this more than most people. Like he does this all the time. You know, it was a good shout. He, out. Gave, he did that he interview. Got, he he got was got a, Yeah, he was. He was. He's dying. That's he's, the most humble I've ever seen him by yeah. a million. Uh, no, it was good. I, I think he has a couple more years left. We'll see. <laughs> Dude, like I, it could be his line. Like, dude, that line, is, dude, they're just bad. Oh, dude, just, no, I should fucking how bad are they? Yeah, she got a dude, dude, but like, dude, dude, they probably where they broke up, dude. They were like introducing the lineman. I'm like, I didn't know who people were. Who, last who's night. this new guy? Eddie, yeah. Eddie sent a text out last night. It was like the defense, like we're making, like they were like subbing dudes in and out. And he's like, who the fuck are these dudes? Dude. And I was like, I'm glad I'm not the only one. I was, like, I don't know who the fuck anybody dude, is Tushka. right now. Yeah. Tushka, yeah, Tushka. He they're, got a sack that dude, the man, like, dude, oh line, like this one dude number seventy. I'm like, I've never seen this dude before in my life. They brought a new center out. The yeah, center the center, new, the yeah. center looked like he fucking played for fucking Oliver. <laughs> he right? was like four foot nine, dude. Yeah, it was. Uh, it, fuck it, they won. They need what do they need? They need the uh, Colts, Colts to, lose. to lose to the Jags, and we <laughs> win, right? Yeah. And and the Raiders and the Chargers can't tie. Yeah, that's like the weirdest thing I've ever heard in my well, life. Because we, we got we got that, that tie. Yeah, everyone always says they were like a tie is going to come back to get us. I mean, but that's yeah. actually saving us right now. We'd be like the Browns. Well, if we lost, it, we'd be out of it. But yeah. if we'd have won, we'd be all we had, dude, winning in. Did Sticks do the halftime show last night? I was underneath for the halftime. I don't know who <laughs> did it. I, so I don't know if they did or not, but Lenny was like, "Oh, the oh, sticks, thanks. sticks is there." I was like, "Are they?" She's like, "Yeah, she, they were there for his last game." And like, dude, I swear she thought that Sticks was like on the sideline, live, running. ready for whenever, whenever Renegade was I, needed. I don't think so. Dude. Well, no, I, don't think def- I don't think they brought a band out. Yeah, that takes a lot. Like the it's half, a lot. The halftime was normal. So like, yeah, you're not doing a band at yeah. halftime. They were just there for Ben. But I, but she was yeah she was, <laughs> I was she was like well it's his last game I was like I was like maybe halftime I was like but like. They're absolutely not. They they don't know. I was like, they don't know when they're gonna play Renegade. They have a feeling, you know what I mean? But like, there's some guy sitting uh, in a booth that presses a button. Yeah. Yeah. She, like, she got all pissed. She's like, that's not what I meant. I was like, okay, yeah. dude, <laughs> let's go. Baker, Baker Mayfield look like horrible, he, dude. Sign sign that. him forever, dude. I, they took up. They picked up his option. I know. Which Did they pick bonkers. it up? Uh-huh. Yes. For a year. For yeah, a year. Well, for next I mean, year. Still, dude, he was like, he did interview. He's like, I'm just really banged up. I don't know what else to tell you. Then, it, then his coach was like, he's always told me he's ready to go. Did so. you Did you see the play? It was like uh, 
early, the maybe first, you know, first half, maybe first quarter, he like tries to get rid of the ball, and TJ Watts in his ass, and he threw it like terrible, and TJ like had his hands on him, and he tried to like shrug him away and like walk off the the sideline, all like, dude, he's gonna be in your ass all fucking day. Highsmith had like what four sacks? Yeah, they sacked him nine times, but like, dude, like it was like I said, I didn't even realize it, but like. I drank a million beers, but like nine sacks, like dude, it was just like probably one of the ugliest football games of all time. This was a turd. This one hundred percent goes back to when his fucking wife interfered and had to say that you guys should be as tough as Baker. He lost the locker room, and I guarantee you, dude, them dudes ain't out there playing as hard. Is they would, you know what I mean? They dude, they don't like him. No I like more. seeing highlights of the game today. Like the ball isn't anywhere close but to dude, where it should be. Listen, dude, Riddick, it's just really Riddick bad. was ruthless yesterday. Baker had one nice throw, like in the the second half, and he was like, "Oh, there's a uh, there's a dart from uh, Baker. You hardly ever see those." Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You know I mean? when they were like, like, "He's missed ten. Can we go for eleven? Yeah, and he, he was, was, he was like getting it. He, he was getting for ten. Yeah, he was getting heckled on the broadcast. But dude. They, yeah. uh, it was just it was brutal to see such a great offensive line like one arguably one of the best in the league they had holding offsides fucking you know illegal motion they had so many fucking penalties like you're the best line in the league TJ Watt and Miles Garrett that debate's over yeah oh it's definitely Watt oh man Watson fucking, is the he, man dude he's, he's about to break the league record he, he's like played how many games have he's play, has 12. he played 12 11, 13 last night 13 last night but I've been 13 he's about to break the record he needs one more. Right? But they're gonna, probably going to give him. I mean, because they're going to play an extra game, though. But right, fine, he's played. But, right, he's played right. thirteen games, and I, I agree with you. If 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 he's played all sixteen games, right, right. that shouldn't that that record should stand From because straight extra game. At it, yeah. yeah, like Cooper Cup's about to break some records, and he's like, dude, I, these dudes broken in seventeen games. Like you know what I mean? Cooper like, Cup's a monster. He's a monster, right? but. Yeah, I mean, this dude's been healthy for 12, 13 games. He's about to break this record. He is an absolute fucking – that was crazy what they were doing. They had him on a – they had a rookie tackle on him, dude, and he was just making him eat shit. They had, they had to put a, a tight end to, like, yeah, supplement they, him, Because he was just running through that, dude. And then, like, they weren't – like, he always gets held, too. But, like, man, it was fucking – it was, like – yeah, it was brutal. I felt bad. I almost felt bad for the lineman. I've never been in a position to get beat on like that. You know what I, mean? <laughs> I was a lockdown right guard. That shit didn't happen to me. But like, it's tough to see a fellow lineman go through that because like he he couldn't do it. He just he wasn't he didn't have the physical capabilities to deal with that no, at all. And no. like two of them didn't. It was dude, nuts. It was like by by the time that dude snapped, like jumped off the ball, and he knows the count. Watt had like two steps on him. Yeah, you know. Baker had a rough night, dude. Are, are we gonna are you gonna talk about AB or no? It's coming. It's, coming. <laughs> it's, it's coming. I can't read. I don't always get this. Well, let's talk about AB. <laughs> yeah. Talk about it. Is that the best thing I've ever? He's seen a wild him? boy. He's yeah. wild, dude. I love get him. him back in town. <laughs> ben, one more year. Do you see the cameo? Dude, Levon, Le'Veon Bell is fucking hitting up Ben, saying he's the greatest ever. <laughs> Put killer right. bees, you, you babe. Sold, now you sold killer me on bees. It. One more year, He's everybody his kill, his gets killer bee, uh, dude. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> dude. So I was listening to something today, and they were like, "I'm not kidding when I say this. I think AB didn't know there's one more game next week." <laughs> and I honestly think that, that's true. <laughs> that's, that's possible. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that's, that's 100% possible. Percent in the realm of possibility that he dude. like he thought like this was the last game of the year. Not a clue. It's week 17 or week what is it? Week, well, 16. Yeah, 16. He thought yeah, this yeah, right. was preseason. And he was like, and he's like, "Fuck, I'm not gonna hit my incentives or whatever." He freaked out about because Arian said he was telling him to go in and he wouldn't go in. Yeah. So he fucking he went nuts, not knowing if he needs like four or five more catches for some loot. There's a whole nother game next Dude, week for him to do that. He find like a million. I, he, he had a million in his sentence listen, waiting. I'm a skin guy. Yeah. I love I love yeah. to go skins. I fucking. Everybody knows that. It yeah. is. It's the best. You're having the best time when it's going on. <laughs> yeah. That was a little much. Dude, especially <laughs> he doesn't wear any pads in his pants. Yeah. He he's just, basically flopping around naked out there. On, he's like he, a streaker. He. Like, what is that, your ding dong? He yeah. looked insane. Like, I was super high, and I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> well, the thing <laughs> is, he, tripping he's going dude, on Dude, he was here. telling Arian, he's like, he's hurt. Like, he was too hurt to play. I think that's what pissed Arians off. Like, dude, you just took a roster spot. You're not hurt. And then he's, like, jogging and jumping off the field as, like, he leaves. Like, dude, what the fuck is wrong? And then he forgot, like, he didn't. He was in New Jersey. You know what I mean? And he needed catching, a ride home. He's catching Ubers with, with fucking Meth, about, and that's, Meth Rogan. Dude, they, yeah, man. <laughs> that dude, I mean, good for him. He sees the opportunity. He's like, oh, well, I'm definitely going viral here. Fucking pulls out a cell phone, gets a video. He was on part of my take this morning. I, didn't, I haven't uh, listened yeah. to it yet, but that's like the biggest sports yeah. podcast in the world. The f- fucking, and uh, so they had him on there. 
it's just he he's a wild boy, man. The cameo, like, to, to, he doesn't make any. He was fucking at a sense. Brooklyn Nets game. Was courtside at the <laughs> Nets game. Right. So like, he definitely was like he definitely got in that Uber. Like, fuck, I don't know where to go from here. He's like, Dude, I'm sure he went to a hotel or some shit. Yeah. And he's like, what's going on in town tonight? I'll go to a Nets game. They still haven't cut him. Well, they don't want nobody. They don't want anybody else to pick him up. Yeah, that's what it the is. Fun, the fun, they're trying to figure. What do out, they care? They're trying to figure out. What like, if you play him in the playoffs? I guess. And yeah. He tears you yeah. Apart. Yeah, I guess you got to put him on your. They're like trying to talk to the NFL about like how they should handle it. Like, well, you guys know this guy's right, an idiot, right? Right. So <laughs> they could just. I mean, they're just trying to work it so he can't get picked up. Absolutely, dude. The funniest was the dude in the cab had a B in there and was like, "Yo, a B, say some." AB was like, what's up, y'all, bro? He's like, all right, man, yo, I'm just checking. I'm like, dude, what the fuck? You, you just mean, cut off AB? Yeah, you cut off AB in the middle fuck of Fuck AB. He just, it's his time to shine. Yeah. Dude, Fucking. That was like the best story to fall. Like, that just kept me going. Like, dude, people oh, like, dude, I was does he have dying. CTE? Is yeah. he not? I mean, of course. I yeah, think, no, I no, 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 wait, no, wait, listen. They said, they were like, I seen this thing, and they were like, oh, yeah, man, you guys were talking all that shit. You cheered him when he won, but now he got CTE. Motherfucker, you see the picture of him at Central Michigan, and he had, He's like, ha! Yeah, yeah. You've been crazy. Yeah. You've been yeah, they crazy. Said he, I mean, he probably has a that little didn't bit, happen. He has today. a little bit of a problem with authority. Yeah, yeah. He's I, not think, I don't think it's any like. How did Tomlin keep him under wraps for that? That's many the years? thing they were saying that Tomlin's a monster for keeping him and Lev Bell like normal. Because what they both of them have been through like five teams now, since then. Now that like the truth comes out, and I mean, people like everyone jumped on Tomlin like. He couldn't control the team. You look at him now like, holy fuck. Like, you even... are Mr. Belvedere. Yeah, you fucking fuck? took care of all these motherfuckers. I don't know what Mr. Belvedere has to do with coaching football. <laughs> <laughs> He's a butler. I took care of the kids. Yeah, I have no fucking idea. That's why Joel, I love you, you pulled that out left field. I never <laughs> thought about Mr. Belvedere since I, mean, I was six. I, I never compared Mr. Belvedere with coaching NFL. Andy yeah. Reid and Mr. <laughs> Belvedere look exactly alike. There you go. There it is. There it is. Yeah. Uh, you had a pretty good tweet about AB. <laughs> you got some likes. I, I, so I got the most likes I ever gained. I'm starting a new thing now. Like, I'll just comment on everything Jack sends me. So <laughs> I, 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 Jack sends me the thing. It's about AB. I said the best way to end this story would be if AB runs out of the tunnel tonight with a Steelers jersey on. It would be the best ending ever. Dude, we're getting like 150 likes. Good engagement on Twitter. Good engagement. People are liking it. A couple of retweets. It's like, oh, all right, yeah, I never had that kind of steam on Twitter. Someone comments underneath, it would be great if he ran out of the tunnel wearing Tampa Bay pants and a Steelers jersey. That would be the greatest. It does much better than Z-Bird's tweet. Ends up getting like 200 really? likes. That doesn't it, sound that great. I, I mean, listen. It's I, a devoted listener that did it, too. It was a devoted listener to this podcast, and I'm like, <laughs> I mean, basically, he siphoned my he likes. He stole your shine. Yeah, he siphoned likes dude, off of mine. Twitter's tough out there. It is, dude. Doggy dog. Doggy. I think he was just trying to agree with you and go along with your joke. It just turns out his joke was funnier than your joke. Ooh. Oh. How dare I you? I think you're just trying to, like, say. Professional yeah, comedian. Yeah, I know it's funny. I know it ain't. Listen, that was. <laughs> that, I, I, w I wasn't even trying to be funny with that. I'm just like, that would have been the best ending to that story if he had came out of the tunnel. He threw in the part about the Tampa Bay pants, which makes no sense because he's no longer with the team. Probably doesn't have his pants anymore. And it's it, like you saw him sense. in the Uber. He didn't have the pants on. It just didn't even make any sense. I mean, you know I mean, I don't know. Mm -hmm. the, the people on Twitter, 200 same. of them. Yeah. Thought, so, but I mean, I still. Could you imagine the likes you would have got if he didn't put that up? Because people aren't liking shit back to back. You know what I mean? Once you hit that like button, you got to relax gone. a little bit. You don't want to look insane. I, I'd have 300 likes. Easy. I'd, I'd have been. Did you pick up any followers off that? I don't know. I didn't check yeah. that. Probably one or two. I mean, but, you know. I'm sure he got more than that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I can't win them all. You know. Uh, man, I was right again. It's weird being right all the time. It's honestly getting annoying. Me, Kenny Pickett not playing. What a good take by me. Kid from Pitt gets hurt. And then uh, the kid from uh, – Old Miss gets hurt too. He only sprained his ankle though. They were fucking. Oh, that dude from Old Miss only sprained his ankle. Yeah, they were fucking. Yeah, they carted him off and shit, dude. He, like, they, tried... they were saying... saying he's soft. I'm saying he ain't tough. <laughs> I'm saying if I fucking turn my ankle when I'm playing in that game and I know my draft status, I'm yeah. fucking. I'm gonna get me the fuck I'm out saying, of here. I'm saying I'd have get, pulled get a Kenny Pickett not fucking played in no, that. No, he game. definitely shouldn't have played. But so uh, this dude's getting, hate, he dude's getting drafted. I don't know. He's about to get drafted by a knuckle sandwich. <laughs> there's a there's... You, you, you got what? some beef. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> he wants to text my niece. She's like, oh, I'm so sore. 
fucking food tub. Is he? Shuley's niece went the whole night. I ain't having it, dude. I ain't having it. You better fucking come dating? real. No, they ain't dating, but I mean, he's a fucking coos out. He's trying to talk to my niece. Dude, he is. Can't have that. He is hot. He is good looking. Shuley said he's good looking. I said, what do you look like? Shuley's like, he's a pretty man. I'm like, he's a good looking dude. You know what I mean? Talk to my niece again, I'll fucking stab your eyes out, you piece of shit. I mean, she could date, yeah, she could date a lot worse. Yeah, dude. I mean, league. what are you? Yeah. He ain't even gonna make it to the league with a sprained ankle. Oh, oh, no, no, no. He put on his knee. I was saying that's good news. <laughs> yeah, you could be talking about a future family member. Yeah, he yeah. could be getting on a podcast. Or, this could work or out. Or you could be talking about a missing persons fucking file too. What's his name? Know? Matt Coral? Carol? Matt Corral. 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 Yeah. yeah looks he, like Coral. Does look like Coral. Yeah, he's a handsome dude. I, he I, is a good looking fella. I ain't gonna lie. I'd return his text. I'll fucking text him. He better not text my Wait, niece. Wait, she not return? Did she not return the text? She's a surely. Of course, she didn't return his text. Dude. You gotta leave him some. You know, keep him wanting something, dude. Fucking like <laughs> play into your hands. Oh man, I taught her well. Uh, did you see? It? <laughs> <laughs> did you see that fight? It's yeah, like, that was the weakest shit I ever seen before. The Pretty pit, terrible pit game. Dude, uh, could such a stand fight? Oh my god, that was that the was best. it was terrible. I, I didn't understand it. I didn't understand it either. I don't know. So the video picked up a little bit late. You don't see how it started, but you've seen the big fat white dude like try to go after this the young, not young, another was, black dude. He was younger. He was he pretty was well a, built. He was real. He was big dude. Oh, dude, but dude, 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 listen, dude, the, the dude the punched junk- his wife and that guy. Yeah, yes. took his wife, <laughs> and that's what I like about him, dude. Because he was like, "I'll go through anybody to get to you." So, the dude, listen, the so one that dude, dude, one, that dude mugged. The, the white dude mugged the black dude, tried, tried to punch him. There was a, there was a fucking 400-pound moose trying to break it off the whole entire time. He's like, look what you and, did. And, and then so the dude, like, the white dude kind of gets, like, a, a shot on him. Got, it wasn't a good punch. a good shot. Well, well, shot not, not, dude, not, the, not at first. Him, huh? I'm talking about the first. And then so then the black dude, like, backs off. He starts, like, chucking three fake three-pointers and shit, which I thought was <laughs> like, real weird. Like, kisses, he licked his hand. Yeah, like, he was about to, like, him. like in his, he made it look like, oh, this dude fucked up. Like, yeah, I'm about to yeah. fuck him up. And I was like, I oh, thought that's where I was, was like, going. oh, shit, this dude's about to get fucked up. If you're if you're about to get a fight and you start doing, like, dances and three-point moves. <laughs> you're like, a bad dude. You, you would think. And then, he was not. And the white dude just... Pretty much went to throw a punch, hit his wife, dropped her, and then hit him and dropped him. <laughs> yeah, he did drop. That's both. a tough punch, but dude, like, so this. It dude, was. It, it, it was just some way behind. It wasn't a tough punch. It was just like you knock out your girlfriend and a dude, or not uh, knock him out, but yeah. you drop them both. I think that dude was a little surprised by it. They got uh, yeah. hit. Yeah, because he. But yeah. he, I thought he was coming back around to like sucker him, and so he starts running at him, and they're like open towards each other. Yeah, and then he went for the scoop. Weird move. Weird dude, like you're bigger than this dude. Like, why are you that, that's a that's a why short guy, you, You're yeah. scared. You're scared. Well, of him. yeah, you went for this like I, I haven't seen a scoop in a while. His and then wife, this dude just like what is this a in high school yeah. and just like started beating beating him down. Some dude jumped on his wife and covered her up like it was a school shooting. That was Eugene De Pasquale. Yeah, I don't know. Was who that it? Is. Really? <laughs> yeah. Who's that? He's a fucking um whatchamacallit? He's a politician, isn't he? Yeah, I yeah, see he's like the county, yeah, he's some county, county executive, county, yeah. commissioner, or something or like county, county council. He's, yeah. he's some kind of Pittsburgh politician. Eugene, he's yeah. from Oakland. He jumped, yeah, he jumped on her like it was a fucking. Dude, was that like it was a grenade? Ter- yeah. terrorist but dude, attack. What, like, dude, that was probably like a five minute fight. Where was the security at? I don't know. That's it. What, like that five hundred people were like security, security, security from the beginning, and like this just kept it going went on, on and forever. on. Dude, was, but but listen, stupid. that dude, the one dude wanted a piece like all the time. He was the one that punched his own wife. Yeah, he wanted something. The other dude was like dancing around like it was a musical and it came back and tried to like lick his hand and punch him and it got caught after he knocked his wife out he knocked or not you know knocked him down and then it, he tried to run around again and come back like, wasn't a good look there was yeah, butt cracks yeah. everywhere yeah. And when, once you get the butt cracks going you lose you lose <laughs> I, I, all you got to cut all respect awesome. that was some the point. best when the fucking camera zoomed in on that ass crack yeah, <laughs> yeah it's just like all right butt cracks are out let's fucking wrap it up this is pathetic looking <laughs> security south hills Arqu- earthquake did you guys where were you I was, was, it wasn't, an, it wasn't earthquake. an earthquake. What was it? No, it was a meteor shower. Meteor uh, exploded. A meteor explosion, dude. Where you been? Boring. I thought it was an earthquake. You don't uh, think an asteroid blasting off oh, is man. pretty... They said it was like 30 tons of dynamite in the air. Boring. Yeah, I thought That's it was like a... You know, nuclear explosion. Well, I started at looking Mile as soon as everyone. I saw. I didn't even feel nothing. It, we didn't feel it up in Munhall. We didn't get effects of the quake. But looking on social media, like Addy was like, "There's an earthquake." 
I'm like, I didn't feel nothing. And you start looking, and everyone's like saying, and I hit you up. Did you really pull over to the side of the road? Or was it your no, I made that up. Yeah, I didn't think <laughs> <it> <laughs> I forgot I made that up. Yeah. Yeah, I was like, dude, it was nuts. Dude. Everyone pulled over on the side of the highway. There was like a crack in the middle of it. And I, I was like, like yeah. this uh, is the end. I just saw it on Twitter. Armageddon. Yep. <laughs> but they, yeah, but then they said they came out later. We don't know what they were. They were it was a cloudy day. It was meteorites. You couldn't see anything. I'm not Sounds like it. a government cover-up. Sounds like aliens yeah, to me. Yeah, aliens for sure. Absolutely. They knew Big Ben was getting ready to get out of here. They were like, let's see what They beamed him up. Yeah. Yeah, it was a weird day for that to happen. Yep. Yeah. I was sending a message to us. Taking out the South Hills. All right, let's take a break here. <laughs> All right, everybody. We'll take a quick commercial break. When we come back, we're going to have more Greenfield's Finest podcast. Man, the other day I went to the hunting supply store and I got a cooter detector and it goes beep, beep, beep. And I'm driving through the side side. Next thing I know, that thing starts going off like crazy. Beep, 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 beep. It took me right into 12 Whiskey Barbecue at 1222 East Carson Street. Man, that cooter detector is the best thing I ever bought. I ain't never seen so much cooter in my life. When I went in there, I couldn't believe my eyes. I never seen so much cooter. I went in there for the cooter, but then I looked at the menu and the food was delicious. Some of the best barbecue in the burg. Not only that, they had every drink I could ever think of. So 12 Whiskey Barbecues filled with cooter, barbecue, and good drinks at 1222. To East Carson Street. Make sure you stop down if you like cooter, barbecue, and drinks. 10 4. Hey, what's going on, everybody? You're probably looking outside your house right now and it probably looks nice. Well, maybe it looks like shit. If it looks like shit, call 412 521 9045, Rosado and Sons Landscaping. And guess what? We just don't do landscaping. That's right, folks. Do you have some concrete outside? It's looking weathered. Maybe your back deck looks like shit. Are you sick and tired of looking outside and seeing shit, shit, shit? Well, did you know that Rosado & Sons also does pressure washing, too, in free quotes? So call 412-521-9045. It's very affordable and reliable. Make sure this summer get all your projects done and call Rosado & Sons, 412-521-9045. Don't hesitate. You'll be late. What's going on, everybody? It's almost that time of the year where you got to go get your sidewalks or your steps fixed. And I don't trust a lot of these idiots out here right now. I really don't. Thank goodness Giuseppe and Sons is in the area, and they're always on the job. If you're looking for any type of masonry work this season coming up, please call Giuseppe and Sons, 412-421-6711, and make sure you tell them Rocco sent you, huh? Hey, what's going on, everybody? I'm the host of Greenfield's Finest Podcast, Michael Z. Bird's Idell, and I'm not joking around today because I'm looking for your sports cards, sports memorabilia, or silver coins. If you're in the market to buy, sell, or trade, please contact me at 724-732-1644. Maybe you have some old cards laying around you don't know what to do with them. We'll come over to your house, look at them, get them listed, and get some money in your pocket right away. 724-732-1644. No questions asked. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Greenfield Finest Podcast. Uh, real quick before we jump into Corn Dick of the Week, uh, uh, shout out to our... Uh, we need a Todd. home. Todd's <laughs> kicking us out. Yeah, Todd got a promotion. <laughs> it, Todd, our producer, got a promotion in his job. He's not going to be able to have us here to do the podcast anymore as of the first week of February. If any listeners out there know anyone in the Pittsburgh area that has a studio, that will be willing to let us come record there on Tuesday nights. You know, we do pay Todd a fee. But um, please let us know. Message any of us here. Leave us a- anything. Just get with us. If you have our phone numbers, just let us know. We're looking for a place. We need to find a place by February first. So yeah, we don't you. need we don't need to know like the exact details. Just like the, where the place is at, and then got a contact number, and then we can figure it out from there. Yeah. But yeah, we're looking for a home here. Uh, if not, we're gonna be doing it from the McGee bleachers, and it's gonna be <laughs> very windy and cold. Uh, corn dicking. <laughs> Washington Football Stadium bleachers collapse <laughs> right on Jalen Hurts. Do you see the shit? Yeah, it, it missed them. It, it missed them. Well, yeah, there, I'm building something up here. John, I know, but know? everybody's seen the video. Like yeah. 15 fans close enough. Flying. Close Dude, enough yeah, to it, say it, it fell. It could have been catastrophic. Though. Yeah. Literally, it could have fucking. He could have been so fucking fucked. They could have been so fucked. I would have laid on that. Gr- I'd still be laying on that ground. Nobody touch me. Yeah. My neck, my back. Get an ambulance. Stretcher me. I'm gonna be in the hospital for weeks. 
We're doing fucking nothing but fucking rehab recovery for months need down back the road. Economy. Oh, Absolutely. dude, the, 100%. and these idiot fans all hopped up and they're like, "Hey, Jalen, they just want to get a selfie." Who with gives them? a fuck about Jalen Hurts? You got a million dollars on the ground. Uh, laying the, there, the dude. The best is the Washington's response to it is they were leaning up against like that's what fans. But do. they say that was too much leaning. It happens yeah. in every stadium. Everybody leans saying. on everything too I, much. Yeah. yeah, everyone leans on the fences in the stadiums. Like I've never seen them fall down before, dude. Snyder like has all this money. Why is that place such a shithole? I don't know. They, they, they had the they sewage. spend it on lawsuits like with the, whores. The, the sewage was like leaking. Yeah. Like, dude, that's 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 like basic upkeep. You gotta yeah. clean that up. You're charging people fucking a decent amount of money to come in this way. Like, like, Kenny would up, upkeeps their shit better than them. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> else you, people would be flying off the rides. Like, dude, you gotta yeah. say, get tighten the screws up, buddy. You gotta check. You gotta yeah, check yeah, some yeah. shit. If you, gotta, you st- if you start a franchise in Madden, you gotta take care of the stadium. Yeah, you know what I mean, you got to do your upkeep. Do you really? Yeah. That's sort annoying. Of yeah, well, you don't have you to. You can turn it off. If it's on owner mode, you know what I mean? Oh, I turned yeah. that off, but. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, the, everybody just hopped up and was so excited to be next to Jalen Hurts. So it was just like, dude, you just missed a golden like, opportunity. Like, call the Because, I mean, if you, I'm sure people are going to try to circle back and sue now. But yeah. it's going to be like, dude, we've seen it's, you hop yeah. up here and take a selfie. If you lay on that ground, cover your face. Fucking and just laugh, laugh into the turf until the ambulance comes. Wins in pain. Fu- yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Fuck that selfie. Never dude. right. I can. They gotta take you out of there on a stretcher. Stretcher me. Stretcher now me. I can't be in your a stadium. I'm scared to go to. Fucking I don't know how they really places. didn't get hurt. That was a yeah. pretty decent fall. Plus, yeah. you landed on metal and, and ground. Eight eight feet at least. You know what it is. All people care about now is getting likes. That's all they want is likes. Yeah, I like my bank account. They a couple yeah. likes on that one. Yeah, but they got their picture with Jalen Hurts and they got some likes. How much is that worth? Nothing. Thirty-two bucks. <laughs> Nathan. Dude. Yeah, I couldn't believe no one fucking milked that. It's so disappointing, dude. They're not from Greenfield. I'll tell you no, that. Definitely that wasn't not. McGee. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, they would have had to fucking peel me off that ground. I've seen people lay on Kogo's floor longer than that. You know what I mean? Absolutely. Yeah. Just trying to get a fucking a pack of fucking cheese puffs. They stole. They, stole, they yeah. already stole a newspaper. They were trying to. I got set out of court for twenty dollars. Newspaper <laughs> and a cup of coffee. Yeah. Did, did you see the Post Gazette put up that thank you Ben fucking uh, the front page, it, but then put a sticker over it so it either looked like fucking it either looked like fuck you Ben or like uh, what was the other one? There was a sticker on each side. Yeah. They really fucked it up, dude. It was fuck. It was great though. Poor bastard spent all this money on fucking. It was a, it was, a owner. it was yeah it was a, like an investor in the Steelers. Yeah, right. and they, fucking, they slapped a sticker over the fucking thank <laughs> a you. Coupon. Like a coupon. Yeah, a coupon <laughs> over the fucking thank you. Uh, where are we at? IRS reminds thieves and drug dealers to pay their taxes. Yeah, I don't. I, <laughs> I don't know. That's that seems pretty stupid. No, Report, yeah. reporting your illegal income. I'll be mm-hmm. honest with you. I don't think you have to remind them. I mm-hmm. think they know that they're not going to pay taxes. Yeah, like, I don't. Think I feel like that's a how that's how a lot of criminals get jammed up not paying your tax taxes. I think if you're a criminal, career criminal, you have to have some type. You have to pay some tax, right. but you also have to have some income. But what's the percentage of a tax on crack? I, but the, well, you can't, is yeah, it seven? Uh, what do you percent? mean pay their taxes? How so are they supposed to? do So that? there's like a fucking. They've income. It, it, it's a. It's a. They're listing like on the IRS, like who should pay taxes, what you should pay, if you, if you're thinking you should pay it. Pretty much a guideline of like who should pay taxes, just the answers of like right. shit like that. And uh, and it said it was like if you're a drug dealer and thieves and you acquired any money that year, um, you have to report that as income unless you return it. And it was it's on the IRS website as clear as day. It's just like. People are so fucking idiotic. I'd love to know the people that, that actually were like, oh, you know, I did make like 40 grand selling crack this year. <laughs> like, I dude, I like robbed him. this jewelry store, but so I'm going to give you like 25% of what I got People are so fucking dumb, too, though. They might, they might do it. Exactly. Like, like, man, they can't get me in. I can't get in trouble for this if I pay taxes on it. Which, if that would be a thing, yeah. that would be great. Like, all right, like I was a criminal all year. I, you didn't catch me. I paid these taxes. New slate. You know what I mean? Yeah. Catch me if you can. If I pay taxes next year, I'm fucking yeah, a criminal I'll you, again. I'll see you next. I'll right, see you can I April. claim all this money I legally made then? Yeah. Pay you right, that's bit? what I mean. Yeah. That just shows that the government don't care if you're robbing, stealing, they killing. They just want their money. They just want to wet their beak. Oh, yeah. the tax man just came calling recently. <sighs> what a piece of shit he oh, is. Huh? What a day ruiner that is. Uh, three lines tested positive for COVID-19. Don't worry, though, because they're quarantining in the New Orleans Zoo. <laughs> I thought you meant the, the football. I thought that was the Detroit Lions. No, nope, these are these are animal lines, and <laughs> they're they're in a zoo, but yet they're quarantining also. Seems a little stupid to me, no? <laughs> yeah. 
I don't know why they're testing the line. It was what? amazing. That's, that's, <laughs> that was my next. Who's testing the I line? I don't know what's going on. Well, Same thing with the IRS. He's a little tired. You can't, you can't, you can't, you can't, it's impossible to get a, like, a home COVID test right now. Everyone's yeah. buying 100 of them, but they're wasting them on the lines. Like they got, is that a different test? Dude, how many wackos out there do you think testing their dogs and cats? Dude, there's I, there's people out there testing themselves every fucking day right now. I, it is. I the, know one. The move. It is nuts. A, a friend of ours had an idea like six months ago, and he usually has dumb fucking ideas. But he was like, dude, we should go buy all the home COVID tests. I'm like, I don't know. He's like, dude, they're going to run out. He's like, we'll have them. We'll sell them on eBay. Yeah, you can get jammed up for doing that shit, though, too. What do you mean? No, no, you're if you not, claim it on your taxes. Not, yeah, you're not allowed to hoard shit like that. When when the pandemic hit, like, fucking people, they were cracking Dude, was, ass with everybody I had didn't, yeah. I didn't see anything about hoarding. Well, at the it time. It was all over the place when we when you couldn't get shit. Oh, yeah, but, like, with the ma- as far as whenever them home tests came out, like, there was nothing that says, like, limit five per person. It was, like. Oh, no. no yeah, my, that dude, is. my mother went. Oh, when they like first came dozen. out? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. It was about six months ago. And I'm she like, bought like a dirty dozen, was just handing them out. Like, you need a test. You need a test. Yeah, but so pray for the lions. <laughs> right. At the New Orleans Zoo. That, that's what I'm. That, what do you mean? Like the lion sneeze? Like, all right, we got a COVID lion here. Yeah. Right. And if, if he gets sick, he what's okay? going gonna to happen to him? I don't know, John. He's I, a lion. We're going to. I shoot can't him. believe the lion's not vaccinated. Yeah. Right. Right. <laughs> right. right. That's exactly. fucking shit. Dude, he doesn't care about anybody else. Christas Porzingis. So this dude, I this bet was ridiculous. This dude had a four team first basket score parlay. He had who do you have? He had Jalen Brown to score first. Jalen Brown scored first. Devin Booker to score first. Devin Booker to score first. Rudy Gobert to score first. Rudy Gobert scores first. Hundred dollar parlay to win seventy six thousand dollars. He just needs Chris Stapps to fucking score first. Chris Stapps has an open <laughs> fucking layup, bunny hop layup. He fucking missed it. Dude loses a bet. 100 to win $76,000. That that's like bet? changing no, money. No. Dude, I would, I would, dude, I wouldn't be here. You yet. have to, like, wh- he's your enemy now. Like, yeah. you, you have, have to, to hate him. You have to figure out a way to get $76,000 off Porzingis. Or, or you start, like, some kind of thing and go do, like, a little social media tour and be like, dude, how bad do you hate him? And get like a fuck Bazingas jersey, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, dude, Could but the, let's go Bazingas. It was a wide open layup. Jack dude. It was so that. fucked up. He like literally like jumped and like it almost looked like he, it, like he intentionally missed it or something. He had maybe he like knew maybe like the thing was like, dude, you better not make he that fucking know. first shot. Right. I was watching blue chips the other day. Dude, was he getting paid to shave points? Dude, like, Bazingas like, is what <laughs> seven foot. He probably could have just like <laughs> dunked it was, it. most of the time they dunked the ball. It was weird looking. Yeah, it was crazy. He didn't fucking score. I can't imagine what that poor bastard fucking I mean, was going through. What's it? Seventy six grand. It's a lot of loot. What's it take for FanDuel calling say, listen, Bazingas, whatever you do, don't score the first basket. Like, all right. Less than seventy six thousand yeah, dollars, I, mean, I bet. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I mean, you're really you're taking a deep dive in there too. Well, you know, <laughs> I know there's one guy that's out a hundred bucks that could have been up seventy. Zbird had a fucking a thirty seven team parlay. Like it was like two bucks to win like a half a million, and, <laughs> and like he, he hit it. he hit like the first six, and then he was he, you you were cashing that money. That yeah. money was getting spent. You're yeah. like, <laughs> it's, uh, but they they never gave me the cash out option. I got to like the seventh game. And I think I won seven. Notre Dame fucked you. And Notre Dame fucked me. And I'm like, oh. but I mean, I ended up losing. Yeah, way more. Way more but like, it was funny. You it was a 19 play. team parlay. You, you start thinking in your head like oh, 19 like, team parlay. I, I, I hit the first six. Yeah, I got like I got I got 600 grand coming my way here. What are we gonna do with it? <laughs> well, I start thinking like at first, I'm like, oh, this will never happen. 13 then, more to go. Then by the time the third game comes, I'm like about to call Rosado. I'm done. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I will not be in. Fucking! I just dude, could you a two dollar parlay to win fucking a half a mil, six hundred grand. The funniest thing is on DraftKings, it's almost they have a social media thing, so you can post your bets and like people will follow them. And like that bet, like two hundred and thirty people like followed it. Like I'm like, man, there's enough people out there to hate their lives. Like, if everybody gives me uh, a yeah, dollar, yeah. I'll be up. Yeah, you're talking about a couple bucks, you might as well. Yeah, dude, sideline reporters are fucking nuts, man. Uh this dude during the Tennessee Purdue game, he was I guess the field had some moisture on it. They were talking about how soaking wet the field was. It didn't appear like it was that wet. <laughs> so the, the sideline reporter fucking rips off a 
uh, a towel, like a paper towel, gets on his hands and knees in the suit, and he's dabbing the fucking field to show you how wet it is. The dude couldn't get the fucking paper towel wet enough. He was just, like, scrubbing the fucking ground. He's, he's, like, he's like, there it is. Like, oh, I don't know how they're playing on this. Like, it was, like, more, talking about moisture and shit like that. It's like, being a sideline reporter is a wild, wild west, dude. You got to be ready fucking for anything. Yeah, but you got to keep it generic, dude. You you go all in like that. You better fucking pee it's on a, that spot on the field and make it wet. That's why women should be the side. It women used to be hot. Best. It used to be, like, hot, hot women, and it, people complained. Yeah, and, and they should have left it in hot it, women. Dude, some jobs are are better. That should be a that should be a hot woman job. Because when you're an angry coach, you're gonna be a lot less angry. Like if that hot chick comes up to you at halftime, like coach, what can you do to fix the game? You got some douchebag in a suit who was just patting the ground. He said, like, "Get the fuck away from me and pat the ground." Yeah, Aaron, yeah. Aaron yeah. Andrews is a lot harder to yell. And at like she gets her head hurt. ripped off sometimes if a coach yeah, is getting fucking. Does. But like. And rightfully so, you're jumping in these coaches' face like. I like a good Sal Pal Antonio like type yeah. guy. You yeah, Sal Pal, like- but he's not. I guess he. Yeah, Sal Pal's a sideline reporter, but like this dude is. Sal Pal got some. You got to put some respect some, on yeah, Sal Pal's yeah, name. Yeah, yeah, he yeah. got. This, this was like a third. Shot. Yeah, right. He's trying this to be dude, Sal Pal. Yeah, this dude had a, like a fucking Burlington Coat Factory suit <laughs> on. <laughs> fucking, he was just running around. He's trying around to make a name fours. for himself. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like he's willing to do what it takes. Idiot. It's like, show him how wet that ground is. He grabbed the roll of bounty. Like, <laughs> dudes are laughing. Like, it, he's it, really on the ground. It wasn't even like it wasn't even bounty. It was like fucking like school paper towels. He got the sparkle. Yeah, the brown. Oh, he got the one out of like the crank machine. You can write a paper. Yeah, they don't. Suck up shit. <laughs> That's recycled. They set him up for failure, failure actually. A uh, 15-year-old kid graduates with a bachelor's degree from the University of Nevada. Loser. <laughs> 15 years Virgin. old. Virgin. Yeah. Like, dude, what, what uh, school was that bad? Like, why not coast through school if it's so easy? Like, this is, I, I wish school was that easy Listen, for me. Where I even fucking... nerds have groupies, dude. He could have got a ton of us, but dude, he's like, I mean, I'm so smart. Yeah, now, 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 col- now college is over and you're well, he, 15. Now he what? wasn't even on campus. This was all even done online. It's all remote, right? Yeah, so he missed out on that. So he's just hammering. So I don't even know what he does from here. There was no. He's like, going to go get his master's degree, but online again, and what? Right. He's done with that when he's seventeen. Will be Doogie Hauser. Well, Doogie, might Doogie's have... way cooler than this kid. Huh? I can promise you. Sheldon. Sheldon. <laughs> yeah, don't young. get me started on young Sheldon. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It seems like, dude, why rush your life like that? Even if you are a fucking genius, who fucking cares? Yeah, you can milk it. You can milk that's it. That's what I mean. You know like, what I mean? I'd be in like, I'd be in like for six years. Yeah, I'd be in like mainstream. <laughs> I was there for five and never making graduated. people feel like a fucking idiot. Yeah, I'd be showing. Yeah, up. Right. Yeah. Never one in your class. Yeah, yeah. Like, look at this. Dude. Four years in a row. I can't even fucking read. <laughs> t- t- today, Junior. Uh, and speaking of Nevada, another Raider gets a DUI. Nate Hobbs. Vegas is not is a tough place to go play. I mean, don't get me wrong; it'd be awesome. It would be awesome. It'd be awesome. Uh, but I would get so jammed up out there; it'd be fucking insane. And like, dudes are getting jammed up. I don't know how you like how you could not not get jammed up at this point. Like, if you're twenty in your early twenties and you're going out there, and now you're a millionaire. You millions. That's a jammed up place. What, yeah. what adjustments do you think they have to make? Because they're I, not going anywhere. Get they, locked in your hotel dude, room. No, they you already gotta give like, them drivers. You got to give them drivers. They like, dude, did we'll that. pick. Did they really? Yeah, they have. They, they have drivers for the, and they give them out to the teams out like the, all the guys' numbers. Like if you go anywhere, you're drinking. Call these. numbers. Yeah, there's like a Uber system for the NFLPA. Yeah, like they'll fucking like you hit them up and these these people will, like come pick you up. Like they gotta make I don't know like make it good enough to where like instead of these dudes. I mean, you get you're 20 years old, you get a. A Ferrari, dude. You want to drive it? You drunk. Know? Yeah. Why else would you drive it? <laughs> I'm mean, fucking not gonna drunk. Judge right. here, but yeah. I don't know what the fuck they do. But dude, a, dudes had, are going to be ruining their lives. I mean, I had a high I would love guy. to play out there, but I don't think I think I'd. <laughs> and I, I drove a drunk. I think I'd right. fucking want to maybe do a couple stops, get my money before I went out there and ruin my shit. And your career out and there. And my career out there. Like not and, not end my career out there when I'm 22. Right, yeah, your life is over at 22. Like, do you Fuck. got the million? I mean, this dude, he just got a DUI. But, like, getting a DUI off, off the wake of what just happened. That's what I'm saying. It wouldn't be so bad if it was, like, just a DUI. But some dude just killed a motherfucker. A, and, yeah, a teammate. And a dog. Yeah. And, and now you're following yeah. his footsteps. we got to make an example. Uh, brother in arms. Tristan Thompson, man. This dude, he just gets a bad rap. <laughs> You're such a dick. <laughs> <laughs> Tristan's out here. He knocked up another chick uh, while he's with Chloe. Got some side chick pregnant. But he did the right thing, and he apologized <laughs> on Instagram. What do you want him to do? 
All is forgiven. <laughs> all is forgiven. He was like, and he was like, Chloe, you don't deserve this. I, I fucked up. Blah, blah, blah. Take him back. <laughs> Listen. Take him. Dude, girls, girls, uh, girls are probably listening to this right now, motherfucking me. And I, I'm being sarcastic. They hate Tristan Thompson. Because, like, every, every girl's been cheated on by, like, some dick bag and been put through the ringer. Yeah. And, like, they just see that face when they see Tristan. And <laughs> Tristan's just out here put, putting up Instagram apologies. Like, Chloe, my bad. I'll get you next time. I took a DNA test. Turns out this one's mine. This baby looks exactly like me. Is there a doubt the uh, three was wrong, though, baby? Dude, and it, it's just like, why in the world would you put that up on your Instagram Because you story? think it's normal. Like, nothing's normal anymore. No, dude, no. Like, why not just send that? She's going to see well, it. Well, Chloe probably won't. You know, maybe she wants to maybe. everybody to know that you apologize. Yeah, pro- you're probably right. You're I mean, because she's been right. killing nobody with lives a private lady. life anymore. Yeah. She's I, been I don't know great. who the, the bigger clown at this point is. I, Tristan it's Thompson, obviously it's, it's her. her. Yeah, it's like, obviously right. Her. right. You got a public. He got a publicist who's like, listen, we got to jump out ahead of this. You put up a public apology. Get some people on your side at least. Make it seem like you give a fuck. You know what I mean? So you don't You're like. Right. And then like, 100%. let's get out in front of this. So he went. He might have probably didn't even write the apology. Someone of else. Of course he did. didn't. He doesn't yeah. even know his social media accounts, dude. Like that's, that's oh no, he, he definitely he knows does. them. He's that's where he does the DMs. for cruising. Well, he knows yeah. the DMs, but when he has apologies, he got a writer. Yeah, yeah, fuck it. So I mean, Chris Tristan got a bad break again. Poor what, guy. What are you gonna do? Yeah, did the right thing. <laughs> apologize on Instagram. All is forgiven. Poor fella. The mayo bowl looked like a fucking blast, dude. Did you catch any of this mayo bowl? I know. Yeah. <laughs> I, I can't tell you who the fuck played in it, but like, dude, they were they were was... they were dipping fucking man. Did you say the Mayo Bowl? Mayo, yeah, Bowl, mayo yeah. Bowl, yeah. Like Hellman's? Like, no, Hel- Dukes. Yeah. Dukes Mayo. So they Never were just, Dukes. they were just dipping I'm fucking interested. mayo on like fucking uh, uncrustables. Oh, I think I've, someone put an Oreo or some shit. I've seen oh, it. Then they, gross. then they, and dude, they were they had like the sideline reporters eat them live and shit. My and cholesterol like, just went up thinking about that. And then they dumped the winning coach. I forget who the fuck it was. Dumped. They dumped a whole Gatorade fucking container, like, fucking you know, mayo. Like, mayo. mayo on top of his head. It, it, it looked like a bukkake in porn. And, and, and then when they, <laughs> when they did bukkake. it, when they did it. They fucking knocked Yuck. him in the head with the fucking thing because the mayo was so heavy oh when they my. turned it over. Oh, they dropped it they, on they, him. They didn't drop it. They caught it, but they cracked him in the head hard as fuck. Dude, who the fuck oh, want the mayo hell? all over him? Duke. They are like, we're sponsoring this bowl, Duke. and you're going to dump mayonnaise Wait, on Duke it's University? Bowl. No, Duke's mayo. Uh, no, I never heard. Mayo. That must be yeah. like a big mayo yeah, in the I South. Think it was, yeah. I think it was uh, North Carolina played. I think it was a creamy whip of South Carolina. Miracle whip. Creamy zip of Miracle whip. Something like that. That's it, gross. That's gross, it man. It creamy wouldn't have worked. It. You, you <laughs> couldn't add the whip. You needed the Dukes is like a little, and they had to definitely water it down a little bit. But it, it was, was a little like, chunky. But dude, no, it, 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 it poured no, out. It poured it out like a milkshake. It takes us. It takes a minute. You know, you got to get the fucking momentum of that. Did they have going. to tap to one side of it. And like they didn't do it on the. They should have did it on the field. Yeah. They like brought him into a room and like dumped it on his head uh, there. So it was like planned. Right. But sure. It was in front of like you surprised me with Dukes mayonnaise all over my face. Do you? Yeah. That's what I think I'm getting. I want the Gatorade bath. I'm the Coach, mm. give me the Gatorade bath. Do you think like they sold more mayonnaise? I think so. <laughs> yeah. like he was in the they probably didn't sell less mayonnaise. Well, think about this. Uh, the who, who, the what's fuck it cost to do? About, who the fuck was talking about Duke's mayo a week ago? This happens and people are like, dude, that was the greatest. That coach got mayonnaise dumped on his and head. And people might, I feel like people aren't like, People aren't crazy when it comes to mayo like like they are with like Heinz ketchup. Like I'll, I'll, I don't really care what mayo I got. Mayo is mayo to me. Yeah, I'll I try mean, some I'll, I mean, Hellman's. Yeah, well, Hellman's that's, where it's that's at. That's the Pittsburgh. That's just around. Yeah. yeah, but dude, we we don't know. Dukes might be the mayo. The I'm willing Dukes to try. Dukes is more fun. I'll tell you that. You don't <laughs> see Hellman's dumping mayo all over everybody. No, nope. it looks fucking yeah, great. The guy came out. This was the best game ever. <laughs> but yeah, they were dipping that fucking shit, that mayo, dipping everything in that mayo. And you a mayo it. guy? I'm not not a mayo guy. I don't eat meat anymore, so I haven't had it. Like, I, I mean, right, this is, dude. I tell you what, the Russians, everything they cook has, has mayo, mayo in it. Mayo, really? mayo and beets. That sounds kind of like whipped ter- together. It's either pickled. <laughs> that got to be a weird looking. It's color. red or it has it mayonnaise pinkish, in it. Pinkish, pinkish white. Yeah, yeah, pinkish. Yeah, everything is pinkish Good. or mayonnaise. I didn't try it. <laughs> <laughs> no doy, dude. Yeah, they sit down, and they look at you. I'm like, listen, I've been here before. I'm, I'm, I'm drinking. Yeah, you hear? we got. Some, yeah, I got some steak and potatoes coming out. I'm gonna wait yeah. for that. Yeah. I brought my chicken fingers. You guys go. Fuck I yeah. got heartburn. John, <laughs> not too made, many, not too many <laughs> Russian restaurants. My mother yeah. made tomato fish for you right there with beet and the duke mayo. Herring. There was like a mixed herring dip. Ah, <laughs> oh, dude. He's like, you have never had duke mayo. Like, the bones are out of it, so it's better. That's good. Yeah. 
Debone. You always want to debone your dip. Like, dude, don't <laughs> worry. It's not crunchy. <laughs> uh, where are we at? Oh, plus size girls at Hooters, man. Who cares? They're they're sparking a debate online. People, I've seen that. People think if you're gonna be a Hooters, you should be fine and in shape. They don't like the plus size girls. Don't well, go to plus, Hooters. What plus are we saying? But they're they're plus they're plus plus. They're like plus. double plus. They're bigger than Todd. <laughs> Oh, no. Well, Todd lost a lot of weight. He no, looks no, good. No. Let me say, they, they, they're not the new Todd. They're the old Todd. <laughs> I think I think that should I think that's that should lot, be a separate restaurant. It's a lot to slam in that's the shorts. It's a lot of mayo. Yeah. Because if you're going with an expectation, or like it should be like Hooters XL or Hooters or Dooters. I don't know. They call it Hooters Plus. I don't yeah. think you should, you can mix the company. But the one I, I will say this: like you went through the line, and it was not only were they big, they weren't they weren't good looking. They weren't. But there Ugly was one ending. that wasn't bad. The one all the way to the left. Like yeah, was, if you go to yeah. a restaurant and you're like, there's half and half, and you're like, you get stuck with the big one, and you don't want them. That's not right. You're going to Hooters for, for Hooters, for, for Hooters. Hooters, for Hooters. Don't get me. It ain't the wings. Hooters food is underrated. Uh, I haven't eaten before. Fort terrible. Lauderdale Hooters is fucking delicious. Uh, you're going there to look at some chicks. I, I don't know. Like when you go, like a Las, when, if you're so, if you're a Las Vegas bartender. You get hired as a, what do they call it? They call it like a uh, an actor or actress it, it's, or model. They call it a model. They put you in a model because they, when you get hired at these places, you're expected to look a certain way yeah. and, and keep that way. And so you can't get hired as like a fucking, at one of these crazy nightclubs, become a fatso and expect to keep your job because, I mean, they basically have nothing on. So, I mean, it really depends what they hire them as. I don't know. I, look, I, let, I'll go. I'll go check it out, <laughs> but like if I'm like some old creep and I'm like looking and I'm looking and I walk in there, Wait, you're gonna be a little was, disappointed. I, I think it was in Alabama, which kind of makes this all. Make I was sense. gonna say, is it like in Harrisburg or it, something? Because nah, I could see was, that. And all the chicks there, it wasn't like they were all bigger chicks, and like they were all like. So, so this they, was like, a fully plus size Hooters. Yeah, it wasn't like one of them like gained a little weight, and it's like the internet went. Cre- all of them were big ass chicks. Like they could have been playing last night, blocking for Ben. Yeah, but which you, which, <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean. But you wouldn't want like one big girl at Hooters because she would feel like left out. So you like if you're like the one big girl at Hooters with all regular Hooters chicks, that's not. I mean, that's gonna make you feel. So well, you gotta be way. the fun chick then. You gotta be fun. But there's gotta dudes be. that like bigger chicks, so they might no, be. No. So they're like, you know what I mean? I'm gonna go down to Hooters. Hooters uh, XL, dude. Yeah, Hooters XL. What do you, yeah. what do you, you drive store? your tractor down the Bedford fucking county? <laughs> fucking Hooters with uh, all the fat chicks. Hooters XL, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, they're just big. Do they call it Hooters XL? No, nah, they just call they it. They should. They're just put. Yeah, Hooters Plus. Yeah, Hooters yeah. Plus. It's it's you know it's not. Mean. Put like four O's in it in the Hooters. <laughs> like, woo! <laughs> but like them shorts, I'm I'm like they they the shorts they were wearing they like disappeared. Could, they could have been them fucking canvas tents that we use. <laughs> For, that we use for like picnics. Like, well, like, well, like, you thought like, there was a circus coming to town. Yeah, you know how like if you don't want it to rain on your like fam- like so people put them tents up. Yeah, that was like a pair of their shorts. Yeah, like, I gotta see these. Look like, dun, 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 dun. Look like a parachute. Yeah, yeah. orange parachute. Because there's thick and then there's. I mean, I'm poor <laughs> shorts. They were like, you know, I'm trying to eat at the same time. Right? Yeah. <laughs> I, yeah, that's what I mean. That's why it's a highly debated number. Yeah. Like, topic. Stretch their limits. Ah, uh, the Pistons. Detroit Pistons, they have the ice cam. So they go around the stadium, and, like, all the dudes can just floss whatever ice they got going on. It, <laughs> uh, is, yeah. it is unbelievable. Someone's definitely getting shot and robbed. <laughs> but, like, yeah, the dudes well, are just looking at him. Yeah, he's like, okay, oh, he's in section 101. Yeah, got him. Dude, and, and dudes are into it. They're getting up over the show. And they're, I don't know why dudes are so iced out at these Pistons games, mm. but maybe it's just, Detroit just goes hard with the ice still. Yeah. Dude, it is so much ice. It looks like fucking like cash money back in like early 2000. Dudes are just fucking fl- – it's unbelievable. <laughs> I hope nothing bad happens because I want it to. Ha- I want it to keep. I want to keep seeing it. The right. prodigies out there, like I have bam. a bad feeling this isn't going to end great for the old ice cam. Yeah, no. Or for the guy with the Rolex. I mean, Detroit ain't the safest neighborhood. No, it's no, the yeah. city I've, I've heard bad things. things. Yeah. yeah, you got a hundred thousand dollars worth of jewelry on at a Pistons game. There's going to be some fellas waiting outside. Yeah, you got a hundred thousand dudes outside. I'm, ready to rob I'm your willing ass. to say that seventy five percent of those people, maybe even eighty five, got their jewelry off Prim Buddha. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Don't don't swim a lot with of green, it. A lot of green. A lot of red. century three diamonds there. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, fucking one day. Do you know I know so you fake chain? <laughs> <laughs> He's like, come on, dude. I'm friends with the film. He's like, you're going to be a new fucking chain right now. It doesn't yeah. turn my neck green. My fucking chain started melting at fucking Kennywood, the, Kennywood Day the one time, dude. Oh, it was brutal, dude. 
Was it a Prem Buddha chain? Yeah, it was fucking green. <laughs> and nobody will ever forget that, dude. Like, uh, dudes will fucking hurt, like, dudes harass you. Dudes did on your white t-shirt. Dudes didn't see it. The What's chain up, was green fine. green neck? The fucking, the chain was fine. The bracelet started melting, and my fucking, I took it off real quick, and I said the class broke. Because I wasn't trying yeah. to get heckled, dude. I was like. Yeah, and, like, the gold broke. And, like, fucking my, was she, like. My high school girlfriend, like, fucking just, like, scrubbed it off real quick. Leave and I was like, I was like, where did you get this fuck? She bought it for me. I was like, where did you get this chain? She's like, the mall where all your friends get their shit. I'm like, oh. <laughs> Wait, is that the same mall parking lot where yeah. I bought three Movado watches for $75? <laughs> I mean, would dudes really heckle you, though? Did they think you really had, like, a 30 gram? True. Everybody had a 30 the same. gram gold. That's true. Every, everybody, everybody had the same 50 bullshit. inch necklace. But. It's Kennywood Day. You don't want your shit yeah, melting. You gotta, that's, yeah. a, that's a tough day for it no, to happen. Yeah, you can know it's fake, but don't let everybody like see that it's fake. Yeah, it's not. Maybe good I sell drugs. Maybe I don't. Yeah, who knows? <laughs> you can tell if my wrist. I was selling a little bit of weed, so like <laughs> fucking not enough. Not enough for a real fucking not, bracelet. Not obviously, a, definitely not enough. Uh, head coach for Notre Dame, Marcus Freeman. Uh, his dad didn't come to the Fiesta Bowl because. He didn't want his son to think he was a big deal. So his dad was like, oh, great, you're the head coach of Notre Dame now? No one cares, buddy. Not coming. Seems a little ruthless. Yeah. But your brother, but, your brother's graduating like, from dentistry like, school. That was the day. reason. He like he told me, he's like, I don't want you to think you're like some big deal now. I'm not coming. Like, what? It's yeah. The, it's, you got him to this point. He's obviously successful. Yeah, right. Is that Ozzy Joe? I, I, I was going to say, that sounds like something him? my dad would do. I feel like you could like yeah, like Absolutely. Uh, not... Get the fuck out of no, here. No, he does. I wouldn't yeah. take it that far. That's, right. My yeah. dad would never That's show like up. from, yeah. He never came to a Greenfield Cougars football game. He didn't give a fuck you're, about that. You're, that head coach of Notre Dame, your dad's not coming to the Fiesta Bowl? No way. <laughs> Ozzy Joe will be hanging out with you three, making fun of me. We'd be at the Fiesta Bowl. Yeah, we'd be at the Fiesta Bowl. Yeah, yeah, right. I hope well, he'd be in the seat. parking lot and never come inside. I could guarantee my dad wouldn't be there. But, I mean, <laughs> that's yeah. what I said. Like, that was that was another you one. You know what? He probably would pop up then. That's yeah, what he would right. pop up. He'd, He'd be, like, be there before Joe would be. Yeah. Like, if I were to make it big, he'd be like, there, that's my boy. I'd be like, Dad, you're finally here. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, he's like Mike Zidell, famous comedian. Yep, he's on I knew he had. I did this so he could turn into one. See I was funny when I was a kid. You see what I did there? Uh, fake Drake. Did you guys see Fake Drake yet? Yeah. Yeah. Love fake Drake. Dude, I Fake Drake him. was out of, he was out in Miami or Vegas this weekend. Just he is straight OVO fucking sweatsuit on. Looks just like Drake and he's just rapping that fucking girls jam right in this chick's face, like so Drake like. <laughs> like and I think this girl thought he was Drake because like why wouldn't you uh, I, you got to be a little naive to think that Drake could be down there, like amongst the people talking to you, pan, like the, yeah, like just dancing and rapping in your face, and not not up on stage or in some kind of like weird section. But fake Drake is out here faking it until we make it. Smashing him, yeah. You got a problem with fake Drake? No, I like fake Drake. I, I have nothing but fucking Dude, I respect. think it's. I, I gotta. I gotta. So he's probably getting. You gotta imagine he's getting some coups. Oh, cruise. It's working. Got it. Because even if he's not, there's an angle there. Like, oh, you'll make a drink. There's probably, there's the probably a lot of people that shut him down, but I'm sure if he hits 10 a night, he gets that one. Even if right. he's the plus Remember size ben? Hooters, he's killing him. Yeah. There used to be fake Ben in Pittsburgh. Right. right. Yeah. I mean, that dude didn't even really look that much like him. The girl's like, I didn't know. He dude, didn't Malkin, fake ben? Malkin's yeah. brother used to get kind yeah. of pussy. <laughs> so he did, makes sense. Yeah, didn't look like Ben. <laughs> but, yeah, he, he, was, he, was, he was fake Ben for a little you, you bit. You go out to a club, girl's a little drunk. They don't really watch that many sports. Some their boy sets it up like, "Hey, what's up, Ben?" Like, Ben, who? Like, oh, it's Big Ben over. Like, I'm gonna. Suck dude, who? Dick. You got a little bit of Prem Buddha's who's diamonds that, on, dude. You getting late? The uh, the Pirates got. He, we got him from like the Diamondbacks, I think. He was fucking supposed to be like an ace. He ended up stinking. Yeah, he sucks. Got, yeah. Had dreads. Archer. I think, yeah, yeah. What's yeah, his? Yeah, Chris Archer. Chris Archer. Archer. So this was like when me and Lenny were like first like first talking or whatever, and like she was like, "Oh, my friend," and like I was working at the bar. And she was like, my friend home, went home with that new pitcher. What's, what's his name? I was like, Chris Archer. And she was like, yeah. She said she just left he just left his house. I was like, Chris Archer wasn't at the Flats last night. She was like, yeah, he was. I was like, there was a lookalike that looked like Chris Archer. At the <laughs> I remember you like, telling yeah. this story and, uh, before. She got duped. <laughs> how, how did you mean, feel no, about you mean that? she got jinxed. She told me I was wrong. I, was, I wasn't wrong. Yeah, I had, to, I, I had to fake Chris Archer's debit card. It didn't say Chris Archer. You know, right, like, right. Like, uh, it was like it was like Stanley. It got declined for six bucks. This dude, like, <laughs> dude, I, 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 I was like, unless Chris Archer is blown through hard hundreds up. of millions of dollars, yeah. like I can. That's great. I was. At, I remember you told me that's a good. <laughs> I was at a bar and this one dude like. He, he did kind of look like like uh, Malone for the Penguins, Bugsy Malone. Ryan Malone. Ryan yeah, Malone. Right. Like he, he did well. He did well, but there was this dude we were out with that like kind of looked, and he was like, "Is that really him?" And he was like, 
He was like, he was like <laughs> hamming it up. You know I what I mean? mean? Don't tell like, nobody. They were all over him, dude. Malone did good. Yeah. Don't tell nobody, but yeah, it's me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Ryan Malone. He did. Yeah. He was like hyping it. You know what I mean? He was like playing hard. But yeah, this is my Honda Accord. I mean, why not? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, so fake Drake. Uh, I mean, it's just a matter of time before Drake puts fake Drake in a video or some shit and really makes <laughs> yeah. this dude famous. Yeah, he's uh, going to get some clout. I mean, if you look just like the biggest fucking star in the world, you got that's what you got to do. Look at the Elvis impersonators. They make a living off of it. And he's and dead. there's a million right. of them. He's a de- and he's fucking de- been yeah, dead for 30 years. And, and not just people just dressing up and putting wigs on. This dude looks just like Drake. This dude ain't Drake. I mean, he's dressing up as Drake. He's he's like, I mean, I can sing a little bit, like but not really. <laughs> But yeah, Enough to he, get uh, my dick wet. <laughs> he's out here tricking. Good for him. Yep. God bless. Well, all right, everybody. We're going to take a quick commercial break. We come back with more Greenfield Smiles podcast. Are you sick and tired of partying with the same old, same old and getting the old boring results? Looking for something maybe different? You need to try Espelon Tequila. Two shots for a good time, three shots you might go get a package, and four shots you and your friends are getting on a plane to Vegas. Espelon Tequila, the official tequila of Greenfield's Finest Podcast. Hey, what's going on, everybody? If you're sitting down right now and you're listening to the podcast or watching the podcast, you probably want to order a pizza. And if you do, make sure you order from Capizudo's Pizza, the official pizza of the Greenfield's Finest Podcast, located at 422 Greenfield Avenue, phone number 412-521-6570. Mention Greenfield's Finest Podcast whenever you call. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Are you sick and tired of hiring heroin-addicted roofers? I know I was. I had six of them fall off my roof in one day. I didn't know what to do. I found out about Allen Construction. Their roofers don't do heroin. So if you're looking for roofers that don't do heroin, call 412-954-8337. 412-954-8337. Make sure your roof stays and they don't come back at night to steal the shingles. Hey, what's going on, everybody? If you're like me, you probably have appliances in your house. TVs, ovens, dishwashers, microwaves, all types of stuff. That shit's going to break. And when it does, make sure you call Primetime Appliance, 412-896-1395. They deal with all insurance and warranty companies. They do all the work. All you have to do is call 412-896-1395. Primetime Appliance. Give them a call. I don't know about you, but I ain't got time to be packing boxes and moving stuff all the way around the tri-state area. I just don't got time for it. But I got to move. What am I supposed to do? Thank goodness I found out about Miracle Movers, fully bonded and insured, serving the Tri-County area, and they go long and short distance. I just found out they do commercial delivery, too. That's Miracle Movers at 412-419-2620, 412-419-2620, and tell them Z-Bird sent you. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Grief with Vines Podcast. We're about to jump into what's grinding our gears. Johnny, what's grinding them gears? Uh, I'm going to have to give it to my man, uh, Mikhail Lemkoff, again. <laughs> These are, we go to the football game last night. What a superstar of this podcast. He is. <laughs> dude, this big motherfucker sits next to me, dude, and is just, like, overtaking my seat. You know what I mean? Like, the whole game, I'm like, dude, can I have some space? He was just taking the arm. Can I get the arm ready? He was killing the arm. Were they your seats? He was, oh, yeah, he was totally over the armrest. I'm like, dude, he's like, he had, like, so many clothes on. We all did. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Like, I'm like, dude, like, you're like, I'm like sitting like off to like the side, like slanted. (laughs) He's a big dude. He is a big dude. When you squeeze him. They don't call him the mule for nothing. I probably should have gave him the owl seat, but I love the owl seat. John will never give up I, the I'll I'll give a fuck. Yeah, I I've like been to Penguin games, LC. football yeah. games, power games. John will not up, give you the You don't have to go LC. piss. You don't have to sit. Fuck, you don't have to ask anybody. Dude, my timing on Heinz Field pisses <laughs> is immaculate, dude. Like, They're the play stops, I run down, I pee, and as I'm coming back every time, the bathroom is flooding with people. And I'm, <laughs> for some reason, it makes me so happy. Oh, uh, yeah. Little wins, like, little wins you, like yeah. that. Fuck you, fuck you. Look at all these idiots don't even know how to piss at Heinz Field. Like, dude, my bladder's empty. How you feeling? Idiots. Loser. So when you when you brought this up to Mishka, what did he did he give you some space? He said, "Dude, what do you want me to do?" I'm like, "I don't fucking like, his, get and smaller." And I don't know, it. like you can get smaller. I like I'm me and Mishka are probably I don't know pretty close in size. I would imagine. Fucking, you're probably like an inch or two taller. He's probably he's probably like a little wider. Yeah, he's fatter and small and shorter. <laughs> <laughs> he's not gonna like that one. No, he's gonna text you tomorrow, <laughs> yeah. buddy. Uh, 
But yeah, you could, I, get, you could get a little smaller, but there is you can't get the in those seats. You know, I mean, it's, no, there's, you got you got that wide like frame on, like, it's like I being got. on a plane, dude. Yeah, dude, I'll tell you weird. what, Misha got us in like, dude. Misha was leaning good, on people. Good to, ba- walker, dude. He got us like, dude, through like that huddle. He's a like, good fullback. Ca- oh, great fullback. <laughs> I just got behind him all little, dude, and we just like got through that line nice and quick. Yep, dude. Reminds me, a, there's, a, there's a nice park to being above everybody and be able to just, you be able to see the angles. Just kind of like he's like, dude, call me Derek Watt. Yeah. <laughs> dude, I remember being on a plane with Dino, and Dino insisted that he gets that armrest because he was bigger. Because he was like, I can see that. Yeah. Oh, I, mean, I mean, I should get it. It was on. It was yeah. way bigger than you. He insisted he got it. Everything. <laughs> yeah. Listen, I mean, why did we have to make a conversation about this? Like, you get the armrest, you get the armrest. Can we share? No, I thought, dude. Yeah, I'm especially like friends. You could, you could share an armrest. Like, yeah. I get the first wing, the, leg, uh, the yeah. first leg of the trip. But even the you could, leg. like, double up. Like, your arm could be there. Who cares if we're touching yeah, up? Yeah, right. I, I'm fine touching dude, up. I'm, with not doing with a, I'm not doing it with a stranger. No. I remember whenever he would get those down the Mountaineer, he'd get them rooms comped all the time. He was like, he's like, we're not driving back to Pittsburgh. We're getting a room. So I'm like, all right. He, they didn't have a double bed, so we had to sleep on. He's like, all right. Dude, he took up like three quarters of the bed, gave me the littlest part, and by the end of the night, I was on the floor. I realized he was like kicking me off little by little. Like, <laughs> and I'm like, dude, why the fuck did you kick me off the bed? He's like, dude, you're snoring all night. I'm like, so kicking me in the head is going to help? <laughs> what the fuck? Dude, with me, I think by the end of the game, it was so cold. I was probably like. You probably loved it. I, I, was, like, I was coming up to him like a bug. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, he probably had a nice he had, little. He had his arm around you. Yeah. A nice little cone. Yeah. <laughs> Sean was under his armpit. I mean, he's ain't bad. He's like, dude, little dude, are you warm? No. <laughs> uh, How man. long did you stay there last night? Like afterwards, I, st- ben, I shut it off when Ben started doing a lap to shake everybody's I, hand. I wasn't there for that. Yeah, lap. when he started doing a lap to shake everybody's hand, which I can't blame the dude. That would be yeah. emotional. No, I'd yeah. suck it all up too. His kids out. He did the right yeah. thing, but like Look, for me, to sit like you got to go. I, I'm gonna get my, my ride is coming. Mm-hmm. I'm getting. I'm beating traffic. I'm getting out of there. Yeah. Like I didn't see like the end of the end of the, like I didn't see his interview and all you that. You didn't do the, yeah. see the lap. No. Yeah, he did. He did a whole lot. I seen him run did, out. I think he did too. Once if I'm you, not mistaken. Really? Once you start that yeah. lap, you got to do the whole thing. That's yeah. a big lap. Right. It's a big lap. Yeah, but I mean, dude, that's his last raw, dude. You don't think he had a boner the whole we'll fucking see. time, dude? He was. I don't great. know if he did. He liked it though. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I think he should come back. We every game. If if Le'Veon Bell and AB yeah. come back, I'm with Kill, it. I'm with Kill it. Dude, I'm with it. Fa- favorite Ben Roethlisberger picture was definitely like drink like. Drink like a champion. Yeah, with that's, like, that's a great pick. That's that, just like, that's my favorite bet so pick. That was, yeah. That's that was, how I want to remember. That was that Halo, like, the day after the season ended. And I remember, like, fucking, like, they just went down there and they got pissed, steam, and drunk. They were, like, fucking hammered in Halo, like, early in the day. Like, they opened up for them. And I I'm gonna, I went to end up going there, like, later that night. And they were still there. And they were so fucking drunk. It was insane. But, and that that was, like, the first. Those dudes, that, that crew of Steelers dudes, they were out everywhere and we were like we're the same age so we were we were literally fucking going everywhere together fucking fighting over fucking coos <laughs> they, they want some i want some zebra you Did you? <laughs> <laughs> being a bartender you got a little clout, <laughs> got a little clout. but yeah that picture those three girls in that picture they i don't they're their mothers now i would imagine like they yeah. Fly, oh yeah i don't married. they have to hate everybody in, everybody in pittsburgh know what picture we're talking about the picture where ben is just on the moon and fucking drink my holding, shots, bitches. Yeah, no, it was tr- it's uh, drink like a drink champion. like a champion. Oh, drink like okay. a champion today, pitcher. And like, I wonder what those girls like think when they look back on that. Like, fuck, if you're married to one of those chicks, like, get out of the room. Get you out know, of the you room know there's the one day. husband out of the three that's like, that's my wife, dear. Yeah, yeah great. Of course, she sucked hate the his steel. dick. Yeah, <laughs> I can see. Yeah, I can see it. Dudes are, yeah, some dudes just don't give a fuck. They would rather fuck Ben. Uh, yeah. Anybody cry? No. You guys, no, I'm not like, a crying It was a little guy. emotional on TV. I like, I, 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 I didn't felt cry. Ben. I was I'm like, not, I'm not, I'm not a huge cryer. I got bigger problems in my life. I, I mean, yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, Ben's I, gonna be okay. I think Ben's Lewis gonna be fine. Riddick like was like tearing, was getting people emotional. Riddick, I think he was great. Riddick was he on, did a he great was, fucking job. He, I think he did. Do a good he did job, but I mean, he like was getting you like he was into it. He was yeah. invested. They didn't, they didn't bring up any of Ben's bullshit. That was nice. They fucking just let it. They just let it. Rose said she was like. I remember when he raped them girls. <laughs> I'm like, all right, Rosa, shut the fuck up. Meanwhile, you allegedly, yeah. allegedly, allegedly. That's right. Yeah. Am <laughs> I like, in your in your sure. your friend banged him? Dude. Sure. Uh, allegedly, <laughs> allegedly. Uh, man, yeah, there's some stories I could tell. <laughs> uh, Surely, gear grinder. All right, dude. So it has nothing to do with famous people or anything. My gear grinder is. 
any fucking weekday morning trying to leave my fucking house. Like, you know, it's it's dark out now, so I don't leave as early as I used to. My fucking kids are assholes when we wake up. My wife is like wakes up on the wrong side of the bed religiously. And it's like every it's just a screaming fest and I just have to I'm like And normal hours are usually out of there before this is all going on. Right. Now it's dark in the morning. So usually I'm gone before this you, happens. If I'm you, I swear Dude, I'm still getting I, up early that's, leaving. That's what I told Rose. I said tomorrow I said I promise you I will be gone before you guys yeah, wake I, up. Dude, it's hard if you got an extra twenty. I, I was to gonna say in, I know I know you can feel it, yeah. dude, because it's like oh my wife's like, they're being bitches. Blah, 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 blah. I'm like, what do you do when I'm not here all the time? Like, do you're that. being a bitch. Dude, I, I, I know when I'm leaving for work, it's like 10 after 7, and I could see it getting like, and I gotta they go. got to eat, they got to get ready, and I'm like, see ya. Fuck that. You know what I mean? I, like want now, yeah. I want nothing to do with that. I'll give you the, all the kudos you want, yeah. Rosie. You're a great mom. I don't want nothing to do with that. It's like, it's like going to the dentist. Without fucking. Dude, if I were you, know, you I'd, I'd wake up early and I would just like go to a diner by myself. Yeah. John, does he not know about my yard, dude? I'll fuck it. I'll go this there. He's been working. <laughs> I haven't worked in months. Like 25 degrees out. <laughs> can't pour concrete. Yeah. Right, there's no way. Like I, You keep Listen. telling me you're still working. I don't yeah. know what you're doing. John, meet me, yeah. meet me at West Mifflin at the shop, dude. We're going to do something. I don't know <laughs> what it is, but we're going to do anything but be with our wives and children. You need an escape. <laughs> yeah, oh, that, that is my escape. Because even if, like... If you're not there most of the year, and then now you're there, like you're also intruding. You're fucking their shit up too. Well, that's what, that's, just, that's the thing. She's probably like, getting pissed off. Like, get the fuck out of yeah, there! Acting like this because you're here. You're fucking up my routine. Like, but I've, been, I've been in the shower the whole time. Like, all I hear is you screaming uh, at the kids. I, like, listen, I'll never fuck up your routine again. Uh, I'm out of here. Dude, here's seven, your, here's, seven o'clock on the dot. Here's my see routine. You later. I'm gonna get up 45 minutes earlier, and I'm gonna be gone by the uh-huh. time everybody gets out of the fucking bed. So you don't want to hear your opinion on how she should be doing things. But the thing is, I'm not. I'm not a smart ass. This is your thing. This is and like I'm sure the kids aren't falling in line because they know you're there and they're starting their shit a little uh, more than and usual. And then they, everybody wants to tell you a fucking story, dude. And, <laughs> and it's like the kids are both telling me a story. And Rose's like, well, let me tell you the real story. Like, hey, ain't you supposed to dress the kids a game to school? Yeah. Or no? I'm, I don't smell any pancakes. Yeah, yeah. man. I show, I show is hungry. <laughs> <laughs> Zebra, yeah. what do you got? Dude, uh. Our, our good buddy Yogi, who was on episode one, he's a real piece of shit. So he, uh, <laughs> la- uh, last week I lost fantasy football by five points. And if I would have started the one kicker instead of the other one, I would have been in s- second place. I would have lost, I would have lost to, uh, Andy Tenney, but I would have won 900 bucks. You know what I mean? Oh, well, it did, you know what I mean? Shit happens. I let it go, but obviously Yogi didn't. And um, he called me to tell me, like, yo, dude, I thought that young Hoku was your dude because I thought you were going to start him, dude. <laughs> and you started other dude. Like, he had six points more. I don't know if you even realized it, Stink, but you, you'd have won that game. I mean, that's like 900 I mean, you know, that's like a $750 come up. I mean, I didn't know if you seen that. Of course I seen it, Paul. I analyzed the whole fucking thing, and I let it go until you just brought it up. You called me out of nowhere to bring this up. He's the best commissioner in fantasy football history. <laughs> he is. There's not a commissioner out there that will call each individual player <laughs> and ruin their Sunday like Dude, he does. He had he had Dave who won. Did I tell you this story? He had yeah, Dave who air. won. Yeah. yeah, he had Dave who won, like, Dave was down early. Yeah. And Dave's ca- texting me now about it. Yeah, he called <laughs> to let Dave know that he was down early and that he was probably fucked. Like he's not watching the yeah, championship like, dude, game. Like, yeah, he got a thought <laughs> like, about, I have yeah. no idea what's going on with my team. And, and like, he knows what kicker's going to kick more field goals dude, that game. Dude, my he boy said, texted me like, dude, if you just started Rex Burkhead last week, you'd be in a championship. Like, oh, thank you. Yeah. Like, I had fuck. no I fucking idea. Yeah, I checked, I checked my game. I was like, dude, I just put, I was like, yeah, yeah, I didn't, I didn't put the, he was like, I mean, don't you usually play him? Cause like, you know, I don't know if you knew dude was kicking indoors. Yeah. Like, <laughs> well, you know, he's great indoors, dude, yeah. on the turf. I'm like, dude. yo, I didn't fucking. <laughs> he's like, oh, it's crazy. Shit happens. It's all, it's like, only, it's only like 750 bucks. So, you know, no cares. big deal, bro. I'm like, Motherfucker, dude. Thanks, Paul. Thanks I was for- happy cause I won one league and now I'm like depressed. Cause I'm like, man, I lost that. Hey, thanks for having your draft in Guatemala. Yeah. Thank you for that. Oh, man. I got a grinder. Uh, I think I'm done wishing people things. I think I'm done wishing people birth- happy birthday, happy. New Year's, yeah. Merry Christmas. I'm over it. I'm sick of saying it. It embarrasses me. I feel weird when I say it. I don't like it. I want it to be over with. The fact that, like, like, our, like the one group I'm in, it's a bunch of our friends, 
and like, dude, we all wished each other like a happy New Year, and like we all say happy birthday to each other. I cringe when I see it because now I I can't be the asshole not to say it. So now I have to say it. Like I I don't care. You know what I mean? Like I, I, I do say I, Happy New Year's, Happy Merry Christmas on yeah, our group text. Yeah, I hate it. Fucking. I never but, wish you Happy Birthday. Ever, since you were thirty yeah, years old, you. asshole. And it's just, <laughs> and it's not like it's not like I don't want you to have a Merry Christmas or I don't want you to have a Happy New Year. We're all way past that. It's awkward need this, for you. It's awkward for me. It's, it's like it's singing, given. It's, it's a given. given. Yeah. It's fucking. It, it drives me nuts. I fucking <laughs> hate it. Jesus, Jack. It's just like we're not what we're in a group message with eight people now. We all got to write Happy New Year, fellas. <laughs> you not feeling the dude, love, dude? No, but we're friends. We've known each other fucking forever. What are we like? What, okay, Happy New Year again for the third no time. Yeah. No shit. <laughs> For 38 years yeah, in a row. I'll let you know when I year. don't want you to have a I know what day it is. How about that? Like, uh, fuck your New Year. Yeah, fuck your New Year. Now, this stupid fucking iPhone, I got a new one. When someone says Happy New Year, your it's fireworks go Yeah, off. it's like... <laughs> no, I think my cell phone's exploded. I don't. I thought I broke it. I, was, what, I like, dropped it. I was fucking Andy said Happy New Year. And I'm like, dude, cut it the fuck out. Let's get... Like, the, the holidays... Uh, okay, the happy birthdays... Oh, is it brutal? Or the dude. congratulations? Yeah, it's like, congratulations. Like, oh, there's, yeah, and there's fucking like, oh, like, we gotta congratulate people on their kids. Like, great, great another kid. You another kid? Well, yeah. I bet you're miserable. Way to go. Way like, to go, get dude. drunk, loser. Uh, like, <laughs> like do you, and like when I, it's it's not even like the, the me sending the text messages. I hate receiving them even more. Group text, dude. Of like. Oh, it's just, anything with a group text, I'd rather slam I, my dick in the door. Was, I'll be honest, this was the like, first on Facebook. Year. Like I haven't had Facebook in a while, but like when people just write HBD or like, like what, what are you? What That's are we just doing? lazy. Yeah. Save your time. Like, what are we doing here, dude? Get me out of here. I'm not. I'm done wishing it for mm. everybody. No one's getting a wish. I'm not wishing ever again. This Hope everybody's really? fine. Jack, You're my birthday's getting, coming up, man. Well, you know what I mean. You, you had a good run. <laughs> <laughs> You ain't getting a wish over here. This was the first year I didn't text people Happy New Year. Like, I usually I'll be like, one of them guys, I'll, I'll send it out. I just realized today I didn't tell my dad Happy New Year. He's all right. He's fine. He knows I want him to have a good New Year. You <laughs> He's know what? having a great year. You know what? He didn't text me either. <laughs> yeah. We're on a, we, we, we're fucking on the same wavelength. You're saying leave each, mutual respect. Like, leave you know, each other would, the fuck alone. Don't <laughs> fucking leave, don't interrupt me. When I see you on Tuesday night, I'll tell you Happy New Year. Yeah, sure. Do you like it in person, or you just don't want it? I don't want any of it. Not I, even in I don't person? like. I don't like the handshaking. I don't like the hugs. I don't like any of it. See, my neighbor. Jack is like my the neighbor. most antisocial. <laughs> I love that. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. But hey, I'm here. Hey, what's up, fellas? Yeah, yeah. Fuck you, Jack. <laughs> <laughs> The handshaking and stuff that 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 honestly that really doesn't bother me. But like the fucking the the text messages of the just like the happy New Year and half happy birthday between grown adults that have like real life the problems. The birthday thing I could lose, but insane. like Happy New Year, Merry Christmas. I I do say that. I'm that guy. I'm the one that would in text person. You guys. I say it more now. Like. I, I don't see you guys. No, I'm talking Tuesday about night. like my neighbors or something. If I'm like leaving a store and a cashier's like Merry Christmas or Happy New Year, Happy New Year. Of course, that's yeah. different. Uh, if I see my neighbor, I'm like Happy. New so Year. you give you give the cashier at Coe's more respect than you do your friends. That's great. Yeah, I don't. What a great I don't, friend. I don't know her. Like I just so, just, so it's you just, give it's her just, respect. It's just like saying hello, but for me to go out of my way and tell you Happy New Year to my friend that I've known for fucking Jack, I want to tell you life. for years. I felt like you haven't cared. <laughs> Bingo. <laughs> Well, again, uh, fuck, I had something fucking funny to say. God damn it, that's the point of the show. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, it was good. Happy New Year, Jack. Yeah, happy yeah. New Year, Jack. Son of a bitch. Dude, you, I think you're going to be bringing on the Happy New Year's now that you, yeah, they, now that are, they know you hate it, because your friends are assholes. People are my fuck. friends, too. Yeah, yeah. You're going to get Happy New Year's tonight. Or, well, tomorrow, no, tomorrow night. night. Like, Happy Tuesday. Yeah, I do. I'll, yeah. I'll, 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 I'll get rid of it. Oh, I know what I was going to say. Back in the day, those text messages meant something. When, like, cell phones just came around and, like, everybody sent, like, the individual group. It wasn't a group message. No, there was no groups it, before. It, it yeah, wasn't yeah. a group, but you could you could select, like, 32 people that you wanted to wish a Happy New Year to or Merry Christmas or a Happy Thanksgiving. Getting those texts were fucking major. 
because like if you like it was if you got it was individualized. Well, it wasn't individualized, but they they selected you and it went out. Right, it meant something. And if like you you didn't get one from a like I had a hit list, I would have been like, oh, here we go. I mean, (laughs) (laughs) happy New Year, happy New Year, happy Happy New Year, Year, and then see what comes back, and then you see, and and then if you forgot one, and then you get one, and you're like, oh, Happy New Year. Like this is before social media was like cracking. This was a big. This was just that was a big deal to get like the Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. That was like a poke. People used to live on them. I, I miss those when they meant something. They don't mean anything anymore. No, now. it's too, too easy. It's too, too easy. easy. Absolutely. We have, we have too much access. I to actually each. agree with you on that We have that too one. much access to each other. We get, and Everybody expects to be fucking It's all coddled. generic. Yeah, and it's just all fucking yeah. bullshit. Like, Can you believe he didn't wish me a happy birthday on Facebook? Like, like, I don't have to fucking don't wish you. A, I don't have to answer you the second you fucking send me a stupid message. I don't even answer phone calls half the time. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Let's take a break. All right, we're going to take a quick commercial break, and we'll be right back with more Greenfield's Finest podcast. Happy New Year. If you're like me, I bet you have the same opinion. Are you sick and tired of smoking hot chicks and delicious chicken wings? Well, I know I am. So if you are too, make sure you stay away from bootleggers over in Oakland at 403 Semple Street. Because all it is is delicious chicken wings, cheap drinks, and smoking hot bartenders. That's bootleggers at 403 Semple Street over in Oakland. Over or not. Are you in the market right now for buying a house? Maybe in the market for selling a house. Have you heard about Carlson and Associates Real Estate Services? If you haven't, maybe you should check them out. They're located right here locally in Pittsburgh at 106 South 18th Street in Southside. A lot of people think that they only service the Southside, but that's not true. They handle all the Pittsburgh area, and they also handle property management too. So if you're looking for a good real estate company that's locally owned and locally ran, call Carlson and Associates Real Estate Services at 412-431-1718. That's 412-431-1718, and tell them Z-Bird sent you. Hey, everybody, just to let you know real quick, Carlson and Son Real Estate now does notary. If so, if you need your will, trust, advanced directive, executorship, custody, guardianship, power of attorney, or court documents notarized, contact Carlson and Son Real Estates. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Are you sick of your general contractor having sex with your wife? Well, I was too, and that's when I found out about Schaefer Inc. Schaefer Inc.'s primary goal is to deliver unbeatable quality for all your construction needs. They aim to firstly be a company principle driven and to achieve this the importance of ethical business practices. That includes great work and not having sex with your wife. Please check out Schaefer Inc. for all your contracting needs. Give them a call at 412-915-1694. That's 412-915-1694. Hey, what's going on, everybody? If you're having car problems right now, there's not really too many places to go that you can trust. One place you can is Meineke Car Care Center, located at 4103 Kennywood Boulevard, West Mifflin. They handle everything, not just oil changes, but brakes, maintenance, everything. So if you need, if you have car trouble and you need help, make sure you call Meineke Car Care Center, 4103 Kennywood Boulevard, West Mifflin, phone number 412-451-451. 8968 and ask for Arthur. Hey, what's going on, everybody? I don't know if you've ever had a problem like me, but if you've ever stuck your dick in a light socket, you're probably going to need an electrician. Well, good thing Greenfield Finest Podcast has Plug Electric as our official electricians of the Greenfield Finest Podcast. If you're looking for a good electrician, contact Plug Electric. Ask for Vance Hall, phone number 412-298-6770. That's 412-298-6770. And stop sticking your dick in the light socket. Hey, if you're looking for a fun night out in the south side and you don't want to get punched in the face, check out Finn McCool's at 1501 Carson Street. Go there, have a good time, and don't get punched in the face. Finn McCool's, 1501 Carson Street, and tell them Z-Bird sent you. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Greenfield Finance Podcast. We're about to jump into what would Greenfield do? What would Greenfield do? Whoop, whoop. All right, I got a doozy here. I'm going to save it for the last, though. All right. Uh, what's your Tupperware situation at your guys' house? It's, in what, a... it's Mine's out of control. Yeah. Is everybody's out of control? To, May to watch him. Too much. And like Rosa that. opens too much the Tupperware like, thing. Nowhere it to, like, falls. It falls. And yeah. like, it's raining on you. Yeah, we have it, like, going down the steps because there's so much mm. of it, and it's it, it's becoming a 
fucking issue. And yeah. the worst thing is when you have a like a, a container and the lid is That's nowhere to nowhere be, to be found. fucking found. We have a whole fucking she's, cab that She flow. saves like Chinese food. Like we got all this. Oh, we got, ch- we saves got the all cheese this, containers. We got all this fuck. Yeah. What the, I throw those cheese containers. Oh, and none of the lids out. fit each other. Dude. It's like does she, she will, oh, so she does what Johanna does. She has to wash them. Right. It's, well, she, she has to recycle them. But it's like the shave cheese. I, no, I'm saying like the Chinese food. Uh, you, she has, you wash them. Well, yeah. And it, Johanna will use it to, like if she's so giving food to go. We got all this. Food this is great. We got all this. It's good it while they're there. But like it's just it's too much. It's taking over yeah. the fucking world. It's yeah. too much Tupperware. You got a bunch of Tupperware? Yeah, we got so much shit. And it's like it's like a deck of cards. Like, and I'll need like one. <laughs> yeah, oh, dude, and it's, it's Jenga, the, and it's on the bottom. Yep. And I'll be trying to hold it. And here's the thing: Addie knows it's gonna fall, so she'll come out into the kitchen to watch me fuck it up. And she'll stand there, and I can hear her breathing. She's like, "What are you doing? What are you doing?" I'm, like, I'm just gonna grab this one real quick, and I'll pull it out, and the whole fucking thing falls out. And then it's your fault. It's like, so what it's, do we have these for? It's if we ain't Jenga. Using them? And like I said, it's Jenga. It's set Absolutely. up. It's fucking set up. Go Going down our steps. So when I when I do what you just said and I fuck it up, they just shoot down the steps into the basement. <laughs> it's in like, the basement, yeah. Like I'm those are goners. Blowing blow my head off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you you gotta have a rule. Like wanna, after three steps down, find, they're you wanna, garbage. You wanna find me hanging in this basement? Like we gotta figure. We gotta fucking figure this the fuck out because it it is the Tupperware situation is insane. So my sister just got a new kitchen and she has like one of those Tupperware things like you see on like Facebook where it's like stacked and you know like these are the bowls these are the lids these are you know it's everything what a world to live in i'm like yeah. who the fuck do you think you yeah. are she went to a yeah. major top of where yeah right. like how many times you use them she's like no i don't use those and she opened a cupboard like i use these and they all yeah. fell in her head <laughs> yeah. Yeah. so she has she has fake tupperware just for fake, show fake, fake show it. tupperware yeah. to, for all these bitches that come over like which what are your I, tupperware I, honestly I, at first i started making I fun like of i'm like that's that's actually a g it's move, like the right? fine yeah. china yeah. and the regular the yeah regular like wear. that's the china yeah. closet and this is the fucking uh shit bag of fucking tupperware as I'm shitting on this like most most things I do I, I use a lot of Tupperware myself <laughs> so like, I, I like that it's there but like it we I, we, I gotta figure out a situation one thing drives me crazy put, it's gonna put me into an early grave you like buy the cheese at like Marentes or like Pen Mac and it's like in that Tupperware thing and Rose is like oh I broke the lid I lost the lid like so we got 75 fucking containers, no lid. Like, want to throw the containers away? Like, what are you doing? Dude? It's a wild, it's a wild world to, of What are you going to do, put fucking saran wrap on that? So z took an IQ test. <laughs> he sent it to me. Scored, <laughs> so of course he did. Scored a 133. I, mean, I didn't do any investigation work on this IQ test that he actually took. I don't know if it's fucking legit. It's What's the top IQ. score? Uh, so, I mean, 160 is high she can get. Yeah, so like 150 gets you genius, right? Yeah, I'm, you, you I'm score gifted. 133 gets it's above average. It's gifted. Uh, it said gifted, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I saw you. Oh my, yeah. <laughs> this motherfucker's gifted as fuck. Do you think you're gifted? 100%. What were the questions? Yeah, like what's an IQ test there, look like? A lot of it, it's like, it's pattern. A lot of, most of it was pattern following. Like, so like it'll be like, this this is the first one, this is the second one, this is the third one, what's the fourth one look like? It'll be like triangle squares and, you know what I mean? You got to figure out, okay, if it goes like this the first time, this the second, this the third, what's the fourth gonna one going to be? Like? It's this like a, Simon. Oh. Yeah, and there's like four different, there's like four beep, different. Beep, 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 beep. No, there's that none shit, of that. <laughs> that like, shit will put my head in a fucking pretzel. <laughs> and then there was like a lot of questions like, like if you had, okay, um, five carpenters, and they make five chairs in five hours. How long does it take a hundred carpenters to make a hundred? You know what I mean? Like, just like like questions like that. And they have like I would have fared well on that. I was just gonna say you lost me in five carpenters. And then like videos where you have to watch and you'd be like, which one doesn't belong? And like, it, how long did it take? It took me fourteen minutes. Oh, that's not bad. So you're obviously a genius. You get twenty minutes to, to take it. How many questions? Twenty. Huh. And my girlfriend took it and she did not score. Nearly did it go high. well? No, she scored a one thirteen. But I mean, she's I mean, not, it ain't a one fourteen. So she, ain't get, she ain't gifted, so you know what I mean, she can yell about the top of way, but I'm a fucking genius. Yeah, I get it. <laughs> Who do you think the smartest on Greenfield's finest podcast is? I mean, <laughs> you think it's you? Yeah. See, I I can't even. Uh, if this is anything like an SAT test, I can't even. There's, I'm not. I I'm, promise I'm not you, I'm it. not the smartest. <laughs> yeah. So why it's between me and Rosado? So Rosado got to take it. So I got to take this test. I think yeah. you got to take it. Yeah. Todd's here. Todd, what? come on. Tell us, how smart are you? 
<laughs> he said that's enough. I can't even like you know me. I'll, I'll fucking I'll, I'll lie through anything. I can't even. Uh, this I'm thing. colorblind. It, it, it just ain't gonna go my way. <laughs> colorblind, <laughs> bad at math, dude. I'm a loser. I know. I'll take, <laughs> I know. I'll take that test until it's over 133. I'll tell you that. I'll take it again. Yeah. How many? That, that's a good. How many times? You One probably, time. Mm-hmm. We're all gonna One take this and we're gonna publish the results. You fucking losers. I sent a link out. I said uh, I challenge anyone. You a didn't challenge send it to me. Would you tweet that? Yeah, <laughs> no. Uh, rest in peace, Betty White and old John Madden. Yeah, yeah. that's two legends. Dan in one Reeves fucking too. Week, dude. Yeah, yeah. There was a, yeah. uh, but it got me thinking. If you had to bang a golden girl, which golden girl? It's easy, you? Blanche. 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 <laughs> Estelle Getty. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever seen a young Sophia? No. No. Well, no, if you want to take it back in time. Uh, are we saying... I mean, Betty Wait, White, Sophia Betty was, White was something Getty. back in World War II, too. <laughs> Not like Sophia. Which one's Sophia? The, the oldest. Yeah, Old, that's, yeah, that's right? Estelle Getty. That's Estelle Getty, yeah. yeah. I don't know. I like what she's cooking. I like I don't her know attitude. if I can look back on her. I like, like her that. cunty attitude. Dude, that was dude, my favorite she's thing funny. About her. She used to tell the stories about old St. Olaf. Oh, man, I'd smash that. See, I... I she I look, looks like a like I didn't see her. I was just... I was just making that up. I don't know, but... Yeah, it's not bad. Betty White uh, wasn't ugly dude, broad when she was younger, though. She wasn't great. I mean, she wasn't ugly. No, she wasn't. Of course not. No, she, she was like ugly. that, that like fifties Hollywood hot. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, old Betty White. She had a the nice, other one was like a, a man. Nice, nice run. Who? B. Arthur. B. Arthur. Yeah. B. Arthur. She B. Arthur used to be dude, Benedict. B. Arthur she was she seven done. feet tall, dude. Yeah, the biggest dick I've ever seen in my life. She yeah. sounded like me too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She was like, "Oh, what are you talking about, mom?" Yeah, I wouldn't buy her for it. Blanche, no. Blanche just talked filth. Blanche, yeah. she had that southern twang, and she was ready to eat a dick. <laughs> Blanche was ready to roll, dude. Oh, yeah. She was still catching deep. I think she fucked a priest on the last episode I seen, dude. <laughs> Who is she, Cordella <laughs> Soprano? Dude, they're, they're running a lot of Golden Girls right now. Dude. I've been watching them. Yeah, they've, they've been catching me up. Uh, they've been catching me off guard. I'm like, yeah, let's watch three Golden Girls right now. What the yeah. fuck's going on? Blanche will take you from Jesus. But, but yeah, Blanche was always walking around in like that, that, that was like satin like nightgowns or whatever they are. But listen, like, if you've been <laughs> fucking for little, 70 like, years, outfits. you got to be good at it by now, right? No, she's good. I, I, I mean. say Betty like, White was better looking than Blanche. But yes. Blanche, Blanche is, would have gave it Blanche up Blanche is persona of ooze sex she, appeal. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Blanche. Blanche. I can't believe I just heard that. Blanche. <laughs> True. <laughs> Blanche knows how to get you going. Yeah. Blanche knows how to take care of you. <laughs> Real flirty. <laughs> Real flirty. That's uh, a nice she'll way to a put golf it. ball through Gordon. Oh, uh, absolutely. Yeah. Man, Blanche Devereaux. She'll let you dump mayonnaise on her head. Oh, she's like, just come, come in. <laughs> She's like, just come inside me. All right. There it is. <laughs> if you know any studios we can fucking have, hit us up. This episode's over. I was nervous. I was nervous about the topic. And I was like, let's just You were let, right. I was like, let's say it for the end. I don't I think feel like people might tune out. And yeah, I was right. Let's, let's land the plane here. All right. Good everybody. to be back. Uh, two years. Thank you so much for listening. This is our two year anniversary. We appreciate all the support. Uh don't forget any stu- anyone out there that knows anyone with a studio or if you have a studio, please get in contact with us. Have a great week and remember folks, Greenfield loves you. We're out. Mm-hmm.